Previously on the Odyssey campaign, our band of misfits found their way to the North Pole, where heading underground, they explored the ruins of an ancient castle from the Giants' War. Inside, they met frost elementals and a misguided half-orc who protected the dead from ever rising. After an encounter with no alternative but death, the team was surprised to find no dwarf body but a huge cloud castle above them, and in mere moments were beamed aboard. But to what fate? Join us now on the Odyssey campaign. I'm your DM, Morgan. I normally play Morgrim, and to my left... Hi, I'm Sam. I'm playing Havoc. <clears throat> my name is Liam, and I feel vindicated after saying it was necessary violence. And who are you playing? Evictus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Josh, and I'm playing Silver. I'm Joe, playing the one and only Atlas Blue. I'm Coley, playing Dr. Hippocampus. And I'm Zach, playing Griff. On Awesome. Okay, so... What has just happened is all the members that were exploring the castle... So we got sucked. Yeah. Were were beamed up into the cloud castle. So, uh, what has occurred is essentially all of you have come up through this kind of opening door that slides out from both sides. And you come in through and you're surrounded by what looks like this shimmering, fissuring dome above you. There already is Silver and the cart. Um, No sign of uh, Vali's horse. As soon as you enter this field and the door closes below you, you instantly feel extremely fatigued and tired. And for the first time in what seems like months, a few of your stomachs grumble in what seems like ages. Around you are these circular um, seating areas like an arena. The chairs are massive and huge, and one seems to be heavily decorated far above you. And even beyond that, what would be a third level of seating are small humanoid-sized seats that almost seem to have perches. All of them are empty, but you can hear kind of the movement off in the distance of something coming to almost take the places of these seats. I prepare an action. What, no one was here to greet us when we got in? I thought we had, at the end of last session we heard a voice. You did. So, um, the voice was only recognized by one member. Do you remember? No. No. Okay. (laughs) So, quick uh, review. When Griff was using his time spells, he was able to look back in time and see... Hear back in time. Hear back in time. Oh, yeah, the dwarfed guy. And determine that the dwarf was grabbed by a large, deep... One would assume a giant. (laughs) Yes. Um... Feminine. And you heard the same voice saying, you should not be here when you entered. Do you guys want to roll perception and look around? Yeah, is there a way out? No. I also prepare uh, I prepare a bank. Okay. So, clarify. Yes. They've all gotten into this room. Yes. We and, moved. and I was just in the room? You were also stuck into the room. You already beamed you, up while they were exploring. You oh, stayed okay. with the cart. So, had, was I, so, we had a toboggan. And you were just sitting there, like, crafting yeah. the whole so time? I just teleported right now. You were kind of More lifted, like a tractor beam. Like, yeah, like Aliens. a UFO gets a, a, a cow. We got UFO'd. <laughs> Prepare your butts. <laughs> it's gotta stop happening. <laughs> Can I, uh, perception check my stomach? Am I hungry? Sure. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. You are, for the first time in ages, hungry. Lesser restoration. It does well, not work. Uh, you just eat. Now, um, what is this eating thing? Are they Hunger Games using us right now? Are we being Hunger Games? <laughs> Yo, I don't Son think, of a bitch! I don't think you know what Hunger Games is. <laughs> <laughs> Who creates food and water? I know one of us does. All right, so um, how many turns is Lester Restoration? It's an instant thing. Instant? All right, thank you. Nothing happens. Who, uh, who creates food and water? That's all of us does. I'm going to try climbing up one of these walls. Probably shouldn't do that. So they're smooth... Where's all the way up to this shimmering dome above Where's you that separates you from all of the seating. I think, uh, I think we just don't we don't acknowledge Volley. He's so, with us, but he's not here. Oh, he's doing so, a silver? So, <laughs> Presumably everybody who isn't at this table. He is just really hungry. Like, fell <laughs> Yeah, so Zul and Volley. That's actually probably true, because he hasn't slept or eaten in about 12 months. Yeah. So if it's all catching up to this, this... <laughs> Yeah, so Zul and Volley proceed to pass out right on top of the cart. Let's just make it easy. Sure. <laughs> Just Let's fold them into. Close the... up the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Alchemist fire. 
<laughs> yeah, technically, it would every attack against them would be a coup de grace. They're, they'll be all right. They'll all right, Mister Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to be edgy. I know there. what you're always thinking about when we're sleeping. It doesn't matter if they're allies. A good backstab's a good backstab. <laughs> yeah, I know that feel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a demon. There's uh, literally a demon inside of you. Didn't anybody notice that, like earlier today, I laughed? That was kind of weird. Oh, that was kind of weird. You laughed? I didn't notice, but that is kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, I fell down laughing. You were laughing at somebody. Yeah. Was you laughing at me getting punched in the face repeatedly? I think it was that. <laughs> I think it was that, too. <laughs> that doesn't bother Because right now I'm really scared, and that's also out of the norm for me. And I'm wondering. I put my hand on your shoulder emotions. and I say, Havoc, maybe you're becoming a real boy. <laughs> is this what it's like to be you all the time? <laughs> yes. Because it sucks. I'd rather just be angry. Well, after a while, you begin to feel love, and then something a little bit more intense than love. All right, uh, take your hand off me at this point. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like uh, grabbing uh, your shoulder. Uh, I got a kid, you know. All right, okay. Uh, if no you want to stop feeling things, I can share with you some of my ancient port wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's also why a lot of us are alcohol. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I'm pretty um, sure he's the only alcoholic. How many bottles of that do we have? We have a whole bunch, don't we? There's all gone. <laughs> all right. Uh, who wants to climb out? Who needs a boost? Does uh, anyone drink the wine on an possibly. empty stomach? Just no. Okay. I need three feet before I can get hurling. Oh, okay. You gotta whatever your thing is. Give him a boost. Yeah. Oh, the telekinetic charge. <laughs> How many of those have I used up today? I don't remember. I don't know. Um, three. No, oh, that's just no, that was earlier. That was earlier. This that seems was. like a good place to sleep. No, that was earlier because we were in the chasm when we did that. I feel completely normal. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, we could, we could. Um, I used a couple. A movable rod, wall, but the wall. Yeah, yeah, I could just. All right, I will. I will try and wedge myself between the wall and the immovable rod. So you're kind of like. I'm gonna like push myself against the wall and like scoot up with it. When he gets halfway, I'm gonna climb. Some up of us. Havoc. Can fly. Get on top. Of <laughs> yeah, I've got the whip, so I can I can reach down 15 feet. I've also got rope. <laughs> we have like hundreds of feet. Yeah, this looks cool. Did some some of us looked around. Did we see anything important? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> so I'll, I'll give Before you your first real description of the cloud castle here. Cloud castle. Um, cloud castle. Yes. So you, you you're officially in the cloud castle. You are in this circular arena with this dome shape above you that I mentioned is shimmering and. I took pictures. <laughs> oh, it's the dome over the arena or yes. the building? Over the arena. It is not affecting any of the seating area around it. I pull out it. my knife, throw it at the dome. How far which, away is the dome? Which knife do you throw? The teleporting one. The teleporting one? Yeah. Okay, so it flies away from you. Yeah. Straight up or like at an angle? Like straight up at the dome. Okay. okay. I mean, it can't the, the dome isn't a, like a physical thing. Yeah, I know. Like, the dome is also probably further away than he can throw a knife. Yeah, how high up is the dome? Okay. The sling of slinginess. He threw it. You didn't sling it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it falls up there and it falls also, back I'm gonna down. Also, the teleport doesn't work if you use the sling of slinginess. Uh, uh, All right. So going quickly back to my description here. <laughs> Let's figure out where we are first. Let's pick up the knife. Yeah. Um, the main seats surrounding you here, if this is your ar arena where you're standing, each of these being your size, there's clearly what looks like giant-sized seats around the edge and what looks like stations for guards. Um, one row above, there's a hugely ornamented seat with kind of mini seats near it, almost as though uh, it holds more than one uh, being. This is larger than the average seats. And then above that, these weird little... Um, posted seats that are kind of like this with a stick, almost as though something perches on it. Um, we get it. Yeah, well, you get it. Excellent. And, ab and above that, uh, the shimmering cloud-like top of the ceiling, which is many, many yards above this. Feet? I don't know. Uh, so uh, I open up my, uh, my pack, and I'm mm -hmm. like, Oh shit, I got four rations. I take one and eat it. <laughs> you, you feel much better. Oh yeah, one other thing. It's a little stale. We have a bunch of um, bags of holding. Mm -hmm. Oh, does something happen to them? Yeah, magic items are suppressed. So do they just so they vomit would spew. out? <laughs> okay, there are magic items so we everywhere. So explode in our sh with all our shit. I open okay. my uh, normal bag Griff. and eat normal food. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, 
handy haversack that you looted from Atlas's house spews <laughs> 6,000 platinum pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> oh shit, and all the, the shrunk items. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Wait, would that continue? To... How, how deep are we going down this well? <laughs> There's a lot of fucking shrunk items. <laughs> also, if anybody has anything that's like magical and keeping them alive. <laughs> oh, is it oh, you're catching or on. We don't know. How 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 constitutional do I feel? <laughs> oh, do I know this? Did I write this down? Try to cast this spell. Like something small. I cast ghost sound. What happens? Nothing. No. <laughs> well, Alice and I are going to sit this one out. How many rounds um, does Ghost Down uh, Just last for? As many as I want. Yeah. Okay. How many do you choose to make it last for? As many as I want. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but in this particular instance. It's the sort of thing where you just like turn it on and then turn it off. Okay, well, it's I'll, like a light I'll make a note of that for later. you turn on a light switch, it's not I like, think time is important. How many times do you keep the light switch on? You're like, I don't know. I think time is important is the significant. Okay, I turned it off. Okay, okay, okay. okay. nothing happens. Is there like an on-off switch somewhere? Really okay. Switch. I can turn this thing so off. So at this moment, you hear what sounds like elephants. The, the very large, rumbling steps. Elephants actually are very quiet when they step because they have pads in their feet. I, I gotta give some sort of reference here. Elephants don't like stepping on chickens. Doesn't matter. Cool. Or mice. <laughs> yes, they're very careful with their... Morgrim approves of that statement. Or maybe the elephants have some uh, jingle okay. jangles oh. on their legs. It sounds like an avalanche. I think they're okay. not actually Is that elephants. better? That's more thematic. <laughs> I yeah. thought he was dead. Uh, no. He's, he's still alive! alive. <laughs> you ran that session! <laughs> I know. The joke was that other people said that. Uh, um, That's so why I made the face. Filing in into these seats, all of these are going to be housed by uh, frost giants. These are ice elementals, almost as though they're standing guard. And in the one ornamented chair, a cloud giant wanders in and sits with what looks like an advisor draped in shaman clothing uh, and the beautifully ornamented mask of one of the owl tengu that have now filled the upper areas of the arena. Okay, I've um, got a question. If magic items are being suppressed right now, what's happening with my sword? Or my sword. My sword man. What about my disguise Has he hat? died? Is he dead now? <laughs> he is not dead. There's a lot of questions. He simply <laughs> cannot move. Is he in sword form, or is he in knife He's form? in knife form. Okay. I, he'd be in liquid form. Oh, liquid form, sorry. Yeah, because totally. he, would, he would yeah fall apart. Okay, so there's a lot of metal goop on my face. What about my sword? <laughs> is my sword falling apart? Uh, Nova is not trying to reach you. <clears throat> no, it's just the physical sword. Oh, the physical sword? It's like super magic. Anybody I was going to say, what's special about it? <laughs> yeah, it was in a flask. Your thing comes in a flask. I know, but I keep it in sword form. I also, haven't slept in years. It's the size, <laughs> it's the size of a sword, so um, it's not going to fit in that flask anymore. That's fair. So he just basically has pants soaked with uh, like sword goop, metal. metallic goop. Presumably, this like, is like silver with mercury. Yeah, this is like it's mercury, like So it doesn't stick to me. It's just going to like. Shoot Let's something. just put all of the shit that doesn't work anymore and that's coming out of our bag <laughs> <laughs> in the corner for now. <laughs> in a toboggan. We'll put it in a toboggan. Yeah, let's put it in a toboggan with Zulan. <laughs> it looks like. Um... Get a rag out and mop up your sword. <laughs> It looks like the scene from The Grinch Stole Christmas with the sled just being overpacked, like right. twine holding things in place. Let's just push that into the corner. We need to talk about that flat. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> I didn't know it was there. And it light? Oh, did you not? Is it a magical is it, mark? Is it a spell? Is it, what Supernatural. Was it? Supernatural. Supernatural. Supernatural? No. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so I'm going to make a spell tired. I'm going to make a spell craft check. Okay. Oops. Ooh. Can he do that? Natural yes. 20. Because hey. he's trying to figure out what this is, and he would oh. definitely know. Oh, you're you're going to know for sure. Okay, because like 45 or 9, 40, 40, <laughs> almost yeah, 15. This is like a 15 thing. Maybe even Victus could 20. figure out that there's just an anti-magic field there's clearly surrounding There's probably an anti-magic field. <laughs> I will figure it out. Let's see, conduct it. filled out. Yeah, he figures it out. With a 7? I, I do share Plus, this uh, with the rest of the group, 12. so they don't keep trying to do things. <laughs> I've only got. 20 I'm sure everybody's still moved twenty. Just sort of like, oh, anti magic. <laughs> so my my disguise has to work. I'm wearing evil armor, aren't I? <laughs> oh boy, 
Don't look. All right, so we're surrounded by giants yes. and elementals. So as the last of them settle in, um, the clearly only cloud giant sitting in the ornamented uh, seat looks down at you, and the voice that only Griff recognizes he's says heard again. It twice before. Yes. I mean, we've uh, heard it once before, so we'd recognize it in what again. language? Oh, th- yeah, what if language? He, if he was hearing it, what would um, you be able to under- know that it's the same voice? Because you're going through well, no, your time so thing to hear it. it. He heard it before in the time thing. Yeah. Then we all heard it when we arrived at the yeah. end of last session. Yes. And now here's okay, the speaker. That's what I was clarifying. So we know this is you shouldn't be here. Yeah, at least. Right. Yes. Um, so she speaks first in giant, then in common, and she tries again in tango. Well, we would all know common, so. Well, yeah. I know like all of respond? those languages. So do I. <laughs> what does she say? <laughs> we can't respond if we don't know what she says. She says again, you are not supposed to be here. I climb up on top then of the Then let us go! Point. Yo, you sucked us up here! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Why is my dude... A pool of liquid! <laughs> Points to his wet pants. <laughs> Can't get it up? I know not of what you speak, but you clearly bring much anger and danger with you. Don't suck us up here, then. Let us bow. Step, Step off, down. bro. <laughs> she pauses for a moment and leans down to listen to her um, hooded companion talk. While she's bending over, you see a shimmering... Um, a lot of shimmering here. Yeah, oh, Sorry. An incorporeal <laughs> shape behind her. Huh? Anyone want to check it out? <clears throat> no. Well, we, it's not, out. we can't I'll, really do much. I can look, I can I can look, look hard, hard at it. it. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming that my uh, immovable rod doesn't work as well, because it's a magic item. So <laughs> it's, 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 it is simply a rod. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just can't vanish. I look very hard with a 4. My, uh, my <laughs> eyes look really <laughs> hard with a 28. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Hippocampus mm. is able to clearly make out that... Floating, all right. Victus is able to see it as well. Um, that behind her immaculately dressed um, outfit with hem and cuffs and embroidery and jewels, there seems to be a large, giant-sized incorporeal figure that's kind of fl- floating behind her. It wears chains and almost like a Chain ancient. <laughs> <laughs> the note says chain chain links, which Look, is chain mail. Chain chain mail and, and like a uh velvet coat. Um he seems to be making movements with his mouth, but you don't hear anything. Does he look like royalty? Uh he has a crown on. Anybody here know anything about history? As does I she have a does knowledge. he look like the king of the uh air giants? Who? What? Cloud. Who does? Cloud giants. Who? The, the guy. Okay. The ghost. There's a ghost. I got a, I got a 12 on my perception. Like real what? hard, right behind the lady, there's like a, there's like a fuzzy ghost. So okay. I, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing the huge lady. I, I describe the, I describe the ghost to you. Okay. Let, okay. Dr. Hippocampus is doing something. I have a, a 14 on my knowledge of, uh, nobility. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're able to deduce that a crown probably means nobility, but, um, I can't really remember the, this lineage of would giant you, kings. Would, He'd probably would he probably figure out of... that hmm, a, a dead king of, of giants that were wiped out, probably the last king to die. Yeah, and I got a 19 on knowledge. Either that or, like, maybe they've got just, like, the first king or whatever. There seems like... to be a lot of nonsense like that in the north. Griffin and I are comparing notes. Mm, last yeah, king, 19 probably, on history. Or... <laughs> yeah, so, um... There claims, clearly seems to be some similar facial features in uh, the, I would call her the queen cloud giant's structure of her face that matches this ghostly uh, image. He is clearly way more grizzled than her. He has a, a beard that kind of sways in the wind, while she is clearly very grounded in reality. But he's a ghost guy? He's a ghost guy. How tall is the wall of the little arena we're in? Um, a giant could be trapped in it. Okay, so like, pretty tall, twenty feet, easily. Like, easily. Oh, oh, but like twenty feet, or like more than twenty feet. More than twenty feet, okay. because a giant. Because I can has do twenty feet. Can't be able to jump out of it. 
Okay, it's been about three minutes since she said something, so we should probably come back. <laughs> She's <on>. glaring <laughs> at you. <laughs> they all huddle up, like, what are we going to do? Like, we're, we're talking about her, and she's looking right at us. <laughs> um, the, the, the owl tengu are cooing down at Morgrim, and she is cooing back. Okay, that's kind of weird. What are you cooing about? <laughs> <laughs> They're asking the same tengu? questions as the queen. Oh, we would understand. Yeah, this. half two of us, them two, no tengu. <laughs> well, you asked. So I she don't know, you just said they're cooing. Uh, uh, I mean, I stand back up on top of the pile of junk and I say, "Hey, something crushes." <laughs> do you want us to leave? If you leave, are you bringing more back with you? No. The last people that came here to scout out killed many, almost all. You mean the dwarf of dude? my people? We just want the dwarf and dude. Friends. There was a dwarf dude like we're just here for a corpse. <laughs> yeah, it's literally ten years just ago. Want a there corpse. was a dwarf dude. We have no corpse, but we have. A dwarf. Oh. All right. Well, that's that's convenient. Yeah, we just like to talk to him. That saves us about ten thousand gold. Why do you want him? Uh, because the high king of the dwarves. Is he going to bring war upon us again? Actually, the complete opposite. Exact opposite. To prevent war, because somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. Uh, don't look, literally don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Was it my fault? We are trying to prevent war in the north. How can I trust you? These are just words that you shoot at me. There's no proof that you even you have any connection words. to this dwarf. Don't you have a, a treaty? His name okay. is... I don't know. Dusseldorf? No, Dusseldorf's the wizard. No. Shh, come on, keep it together. It's come on. <laughs> like Durst... Fuck. Dern gun? Durn no, gun. it's not Dern gun. No, yeah, Who are we talking about? The king. The, the dwarf? King. No, the king. Which Grimsbald? The king. Grimsbald. Oh. No, his yeah. son? His son is the something, son is Durst, Grim something Grimsbald. The son is Dern gun. Dern gun. gun. Tell... Durngun Grimsbald that his father would like him back. He believes him dead, and we want to bring him back to his father. You may speak with him yourself, if okay. you wish. However, <laughs> you still have given me no reason to well, trust then you. Well, have him speak to us. Show him the treaty. He doesn't leave his quarters. Oh, wh wh what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I am Dulcinea, the last of the cloud giants. Okay. What, like the instrument? No, that's a dulcimer. <laughs> Is it a dulcimer? <laughs> yeah. It's a hammer dulcimer. Um, throughout thr th the so more an instrument. <laughs> the the angry. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> the the more angry Dulcinea seems to become, um, the more solid almost uh, the ghost of her father seems to appear. Also, yo, there's a ghost behind you. I don't know if you know that. He has been with me ever since his. Good for you. We've all had, like, many people die within our families. You don't see us sucking people up into our floating fortresses. I haven't. All right, so <laughs> I, think, I think we should all calm down a little. I wasn't there. Maybe just a little, says the barbarian. <laughs> My dude is a puddle. Can't keep it yeah. up. And he's going to remain a puddle until we can get out of whatever Maybe this is. Sense. You're making entirely too much sense, Heather. It's an anti-magic field. Yeah. That. Have you anti-magic, anti-magic fields? We outside right, of the field, I can. Right in front of the... What if we throw you outside of the field? Oh, well, I can just fly out. You, you, can you fly? Is that... Yeah. Can you? Flying is natural. Oh. Uh, right, because you're a soul. Yeah. Is it a supernatural ability, though? No, it's just... It's just fly speed. Are you sure? It, okay. It, it would be kind of like if anti-magic field stopped you from walking. No. It doesn't. Before you do that... Yeah. There's a lot of people in this arena. Yeah. And, they all might and you don't have your magic until you're out of the field. I know. Why do you think I haven't left the ground yet? Okay. Wait. <laughs> just, just. Here. That's not going to do anything. I don't know. Worth a shot. Does anything happen? Uh, sorry. You That's an artifact, He's using actually. A... Put the put up. I didn't hear. The, the uh, cloak? cloak? Yeah. Yeah. That's... Artifacts are more powerful than anti-magic shield. I was going to say, that's an, a natural object. It's not bestowed with magic, right? No, it's an artifact. It's very magical. Okay, yeah. So you can turn it visible. Cool. No. Why? It's mine. <laughs> it's my lot. cloak. Yeah, but you gave it to me. Also, the... no, you just kind of took it. It's mine. Okay, <laughs> let's um, not give away our ace in the hole. Listen, we just need to get out of here. <laughs> I will let you out if you give me a reason to trust you. I'll give you 20 bucks. <laughs> what is this box you speak of? Twenty bucks in a handy. Come on. <laughs> I really want to get out of here. I I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't go around like 
screaming at strangers on the street. I need a reason to trust you! That's a good point. True, but I have had my entire, entire population killed point. in my lifetime. Wait, entire? I can see I am the last of the cloud giants. Are there other giants around? Or I had sex with a cloud giant giants. like 60 years ago. Was it her? No. <laughs> was it actually a cloud giant? I'm sure? pretty sure it was a cloud giant. It, it, might, a have dragon. Been, it might have been a different thing. A dragon? No, it was a giant. Was G. it a dragon? Giant. Do you know what kind of giant? Hey, Sorry. Hey, Silver, how old are you? <laughs> oh, I gotta check my character sheet. <laughs> uh, 30. Mm. Or at least I think so. How long is the gestation period of a dragon? See, a caveat is can be pretty long. I don't really know. I, look thir- I didn't have sex with a dragon. I had sex with a giant. Uh-huh. The um, the, the shaman. <laughs> well, it was a giant giant. Uh, the shaman uh, dressed creature sitting beside hey. Dulcinea. I'm going to be diplomatic. I open up and look down my pants. Whoa. <laughs> oh, your balls. <laughs> Are they, they, they still up? It's still glowing. Is it still glowing? Uh, I'll say that along with uh, Griff's cloak... You're, That's a supernatural ability. That'd be suppressed. Oh, no, it's suppressed. I'm going di- to be I'm gonna be diplomatic here. Okay. And be like, yo! <laughs> <laughs> That's listen, what I think of when I think of diplomacy. Uh, M&M, the diplomat. Yeah, right. Here's, Here's a story. <laughs> <laughs> about a little blue boy. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be like, we don't want to hurt anybody we just want to take the dwarf and go and we're there's a treaty between the dwarves the dwarves are helping us out there's a bigger threat than killing giants cities that can come kill you we're going to kill them if you want to help us kill them you can if you want to just stay up here you can do that too but we need to go do you have that treaty and that's with a i've also sort of got a bigger um, point to add to this on. conclusion here this is math so math is hard for dwarves me. killed your people none of us are dwarves Yes. Technically, that's not 40. true. It was the hobgoblins that killed their people. Yeah. And you do and have a hobgoblin. To be fair. Whoa. That's wo- a little presumptive, don't you think? The, the, the one, the, the, the hobgoblins that the killed up. your people. Havoc, shut the fuck up. Havoc, I shut, killed. Havoc, shut the fuck up. He did, he did kill the people who Havoc, I'm people. in the middle of something. With a 41. You fight among yourselves. <laughs> No, they, they were tyrants. That's why they killed you. And so we killed the tyrants to stop their tyranny. Do you have proof of this treaty of which you speak? He's wearing his armor. <laughs> yeah. Look at that man's armor. Do you see that armor? Do you think that he would have just given it away? Plus, Hang on, Griff was in the middle of something. I yeah, was... give him a chance here, guys. So I kind of cover all that with a 41. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, do you actually physically have a copy of the... I th- yes. yes. Oh, yeah, kinda, I kind of do. Did. Yeah. You didn't because oh, you sent a copy to Doom. No, no, I sent a message to Doom. Okay, I have so to bring the, the copy to him. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you have it. Message doesn't fax. Okay. Um, <laughs> so she she says she she. And this is like so forty one. That's like pretty fucking diplomatic. Like yeah, she she so. seems to calm down. She touches an oh, opal uh, about her neck. Her father seems to fade a bit into the background. Oh. She seems to sit back and think. She again leans over to the shaman beside her, um, who comes down off the seat and disappears for a moment. I must look into this treaty of yours. Wait one moment. Wait, guys. Hmm? I'd, I'd rather not let this out of my hands. <laughs> Atlas, make an exact copy. Yeah. In his brain. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. Uh, just, just, we just, don't have magic. We can talk them out of it, and then we'll make a copy, and then, you know... So we just need to tell them to turn down their shield that's right. stopping them from certain death. <laughs> then <laughs> make a complete copy in, right. in, in Havoc's brain of this, right. of this thing. Wait. And then hand it over. Right. The shaman then enters the arena and walks over to Havoc. Here's, a, here, here's an idea. I'm bluffing, okay. I'm bluffing uh, communication. Don't you have to f- make sure I understand it? Does that was a low roll. <laughs> it's a oh, no, it's a good roll. <laughs> Plus. That probably works. 19. 35. 33? 33. 33. <laughs> yeah. And I say to you, she said that all of her people are gone. And we technically have a way of making that happen. What? Her people coming back. Do we? One of her people coming back, at least. Well, it depends how many years ago. No, it doesn't. No. No, yeah, because resurrection is like... That's true, it's 10 years. 
No. Oh, I was going more with, you know. It's 10 years per level. Oh, what do we Oh, jeez! Oh, your magic balls? <laughs> you want to fuck a cloud giant? No, I'm good. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have sex with her. It's fine. Taza doesn't I have... I mean, that is a potential way out of this. That is a potential way out of this. Taza doesn't have ownership of my semen. It wouldn't be cheap. Oh, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> artificial insemination is... 150. Like not artificial. Yeah, 10 years per <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's a term from the streets. <laughs> um, while you guys communicate to each other, the shaman comes over and is looking over Havoc's shoulder, reading the... Uh, no, I, I, would, I would flip it around. I would do the... Uh, see it these? See it these? these? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> she makes no move to touch it. In fact, she keeps her hands behind her back. Okay. Um, speaking in Hobgoblin, she says, this is signed in representation of Doom? Yes. I am Havoc, his Imperator. <laughs> Also, brother. So you were his emissary. That, listen, <laughs> kings are tyrants, emissaries are imperators. We like to use fancy words. Use better words. We're <laughs> fucking idiots, okay? Why not just use a word of just like, yeah, I'm the dude who runs the place. And we like can't even nice call play. each other by their names. Yeah. No. Seriously. Um, with great emotion, she says, Li Khan, you have grown. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I think Havoc crumples the, the uh... Like, rips the page. <laughs> um... What? You have traveled, clearly, with people you trust a long way. Would you like to see this dwarf you seek? Don't call me that. It is my right. In front of all these people! <laughs> They are my family. How now. dare you? <laughs> That's a hell of a... Shut up! <laughs> I punch her. Okay. Can I attempt to restrain him? <laughs> That's a three. That's probably not going to hit. <laughs> well, I you. Does she take damage, though, from your um, spikes or anything? No, it, this would be a, uh, an unarmed strike. Okay. Um, which my total would be... Oh, shit. Don't add any of your. Don't add. <laughs> That's actually. Rolling a three is actually a twenty-eight. Okay. Oh shit. Well, don't add your your strength bonuses. You're right. But that's only like minus three, so. So hob hobgoblin say hello. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hug for them. Hey John. Hey. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um, Havoc's fist makes perfect contact with the edge of her jaw and mask, throwing her snow mask off into the uh, arena. Uh, a That's four, four unarmed damage. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes our chances. Uh, Man, they really God damn it. Her mask, her mask come off? Yes. What does she look like? Okay, I was about to describe her. Thank you. Uh, her face is soft and heart-shaped. She has gray, overclouded kind of cast eyes. They glimmer with a molten copper coin shimmer. Uh, she is no longer smiling, but she, <laughs> uh, she she seems to have a sad look about her. Um, what race is she? Hobgoblin. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Havoc, you really... You just had to do that, didn't she, you? She says, ow. <laughs> ow. Well, there goes our diplomacy. Ha Havoc, is, Havoc is literally freaking out at this point. That's fine. Diplomatic um, she says, you were never one to control your temper. <laughs> That's your fault, if anything. <laughs> I had no choice. Where have you been? No choice? Havoc, Here. what's going on? I had no choice. I was an infant. I have... <laughs> Sorry. They're just eating. <laughs> I have never known you, and now you're just like, oh, here I am in a fucking castle in the sky in the north. What the fuck? This is where I'm needed most. Where were you when I needed you? In your heart. Bullshit in my heart. <laughs> I've been in his heart. It sucks there. <laughs> it's terrible. It sucks even more now. You did eat people. I think it's better now, but it was really terrible then. We should probably go back in at some point. Yeah, we'll check him out later. Oh, yeah. like annual check <laughs> <laughs> All right, Havoc, you're going to feel a slight pinch. <laughs> Could you yeah. please turn your head and cough? <laughs> Understand what a decision I was put in. There was no way to truly win 
All of the royalty were dying. W what's that supposed to mean? All the royalty? I killed all the royalty! Is this all in Hobgoblin? I, ass I assume. Yeah, the, it, it's, it's very hard. There's a reason why I'm like eating all yeah, I, 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 I saddle over. <laughs> Atlas, once again. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> and yet, who is left now? I, look, this isn't about that. This is about me growing up in the worst possible circumstance, being forced to eat my dead b because you couldn't take me with you? It is not where you belonged. I don't belong anywhere! You have found your place, you just don't realize it. I tried telling him that. I punished her again! <laughs> okay. I think I told him that like, like a month ago. Think this, this is that's a two, that's, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the energy, he's so tired. No, I, 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 oh, that's right, you're not I don't have the uh, Riga substance or anything. Mom? No, she's his He's mom. her mom. No, 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 put that. <laughs> <laughs> she's his, yeah, I start giving you the play-by-play. -play. She's his mom. Two. She, like, left two. at some point Negative two. into the north. Uh, I thought she went crazy, but, like, in the murdering people kind of crazy, but I guess not. Uh... Well, now she's, she's just doing the abducting people kind of crazy. Yeah, I guess. Isn't yeah. that the kind of murdering people? I mean, it looks like they were going to start murdering This people. looks like a real murder chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It mm. seems like a murder pit. Oh, yeah. They don't really get to claim, like, high society here if they trap people inside of the pit. Yeah. I think there are blood... I'm going to do a perception check. Do I see any blood stains? You can probably just see that. That's a, that's a 47. <laughs> the only blood is coming from the mouth of what the you one. perceive to be Havoc's mother. See? Blood. I mean, that was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they the, clean the, up. They can clean up. The the arena actually seems to be kind of a, a housing area where they bring things up. There's no body parts or blood or stains. Um, <laughs> there's no they, blood, but there's a lot of body parts. <laughs> there's no body. Um, but in a pause on the uh, interaction with, with Havoc for a second. Here. Just frozen. <laughs> Um, Dulcinea is looking down, clearly upset that now there's a, a sort of An comp, altercation comp, going yes. on. Yes. Um, However, she's making note of the fact that you guys are not um, stepping in, nor negatively or p positively. You're kind of letting it play out. <laughs> Awkwardly eating food. Obviously. A lot of us are exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, she, she calls down, If you are done hurting, hurting... Sorry, pause on that. I forget what word I'm going to use. Um, if you are done hurting my advisor... Um, and we could, uh, yeah, uh, who has clearly said that your treaty, treaty is sound. Perhaps we could get back to the matter at hand? No, it's not a good time. <laughs> if you try interrupting this, there might be a death. Let's just kind of let this play out. <laughs> Pass me some of that snack, Victor. Yeah, there you go. No, no, that, that snack right there. Real, real, real snack. Real snack? Oh. oh. <laughs> All evening. Shit! <laughs> Shit! I don't. I, I. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. Uh, th in that case, you will continue. When I last spoke with Doom some months ago. Um, oh, so you go to see <laughs> Doom, huh? He came to see me. Oh, that does explain the answers a bit. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, go see him. He can't even tell me anything. How come nobody tells me anything? Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> well, I'm trying my best to tell you things now. Yeah, you punch me. <laughs> Could we move this out of the she, she's spitting magic blood. dome? Out of the magic dome and like into a comfortable location with like plush chairs and not a liquid friend. I'm cold. <laughs> also, they're falling apart at the seams because they're too weak to like sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the the. A hobgoblin uh, in front of you uh, looks up at Dulcinea and gives a kind of gesture, uh, which is like a, a an accepting shrug and then gestures to them. They don't seem to be, <laughs> despite 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 my my son's uh, actions here. Don't call me that. He. They, You're not my mother. They seem to be speaking the truth. Ooh, I'm only here to retrieve Durg, Durgen, Durgun. 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 Then let me take you to him. Well, we need an assurance that we can leave. This place? With Durgan. With Durgan. And coffee. If he wishes to go with you, that is his matter. Oh, he'll go. 
I will confess, he was originally a prisoner. Um, we needed some sort of safety net after all of the cloud giants were attacked. But he has overstayed his welcome. All right, let's start pushing this cart. Somebody have a... No, no, this is how we're going to get out. So we're going to just leave it right here. You may leave your belongings here. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You well, I'd like, like to put it back in the way. Yeah. Could you guys dispel this just fucking so we can magic put all our stuff back in the bag? It's going to take about 20 hours. It's going to take like two hours to pick us all back up. <laughs> got telekinesis. Unfortunately, this is a permanent down. Yeah, see? We've got to push the card. Um, Out of there. we will simply it's beam like you and your belongings back down when you've concluded your business. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we got to put all this shit back in the bag. Yeah, in the middle of a storm... Where it's snowy out? What th- what happens to things when you drop them into deep snow? We would... Like a lot of platinum pieces. We would like, use yeah, softly. Like, platinum and snow are really like close together. You give us a whole bunch of plastic Just bags. Just <laughs> like, open the door. We can move this to like a holding chamber. But then we're going to have to come back oh, here I and go see, back yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. You're still going to have to come through here. Yeah. So it doesn't make a difference if we go out and unpack Why everything. don't we just go out a different way then? Somebody have a cup... You could do that if you would like. Do you have, like, windows? We're just going to teleport back anyway. Yeah, we'll just teleport. Yeah, we can remove you to an alternative location. Okay. All right, guys, start picking some shit up. Suppress (laughs) the magic field, maybe. It is permanent. Yeah, well, I've got lots of permanent things on me, and they're suppressed right now, so... (laughs) These things go both ways, don't you know? Well, that is not of my domain. I simply am here to advise Dulcinea. Platinum. What do you have a cup? (laughs) <laughs> uh, Morgrim hands you one of her many flasks. So, uh, so th- th- this has been this has been uh, Havoc's mom talking yes. to them. So we s- s- technically still don't have a guarantee from the no. giant yet. Right. Yeah, you you have to communicate with her. So, um, what what you've learned from um, Havoc's mom is that uh, there are rooms off to the side if you wanted to bring your belongings in there. There are alternative ways of getting in and out of the castle other than the teleportation um, room if you would if you would like um, but also that Dulcinea is not quick to trust and that she needs some sort of guarantee that you're not just taking this uh, dwarf back to initiate an army again the treaty does look sound um, but so the, so the dwarves and the hobgoblins, the, the enemies of the giants, have united fantastic, right? Yeah. Right. So, and, and in addition to that, she wants to hear more about these uh, walking cities. You can't simply make announcements like, we're going to be fighting this big thing, and that's why we've joined together. She, she wants some sort of uh, report, if, if you will. If you get rid of the magic, we can show you. Um, that's what us moving yeah. Yeah. into a different the, room. The mom is pointing that. out so where pushing, she had come through. Pushing a pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just have to leave this stone house here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your demi plane just shut off. <laughs> oh, demi plane's in another plane. So, but uh, I had a miniature stone house. <laughs> Probably had like a cannon. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, no, the tank. Yeah, the tank. tank. Oh, God. We're going to have to push the tank. Ooh, no, there's, we're, that we're, thing is... We could drive the tank. The tank. Yeah, it's probably gross right now. Well, no, we... Oh, we, we, you, uh, do we, no. Atlas has the bloody tank. Oh, we yes. also have a regular yeah, tank. So we have two tanks in this area. One of them is just eking blood. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that about? <laughs> we really don't look good. We brought no. a tank to cannon. <laughs> we come in peace. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly sure Volley has... I'm fairly sure Volley has a whole bunch of boulders, too. Yeah. All right, I'm yep. going to start the tank up, and then... <laughs> She's got to get it out of here. We're going to push it, or... We I don't think push it. I don't it mean, it like moves on rails. Doors. It does move on rails. Yeah, but it's... Rails are just... Can easy. you see the problem you're causing? <laughs> just turn it off! <laughs> Atlas, can you just shut it off from the outside? For like five minutes. For like five minutes. That's all we need. Maybe. All right, go try. All right. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. Well... Oh, man. Let's just leave the tanks here until we get better. They can beam the tanks down. Well, if... They could be. If we suppress the magic field, all the spell effects return, so wouldn't they just shrink again? Yes. Which means but they'd beam the small tank down, and I wouldn't be able to find it in the snow. <laughs> so we don't beam it down, then we just pocket it and move out of the... the yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is he's about to just go up and turn off their thing that Should they don't we trust do us. Yeah. So, so yeah, Dulcinea and, is... And it might just get swatted out of the air. we got to think this through a bit more. <laughs> Dulcinea is listening just... to this, and she's like, I would request that you not yeah, let's just... show signs of perhaps defying my requests. I am agreeing to meet with you and have you listen and hear the dwarf out. 
But I would request that you don't start changing the magical fields of my home. Then you're going to have to clean up the tank. All right. What? Well, right. Somebody with a mop. <laughs> it's literally probably like a pool of blood around the tank. There was like six dwarves in that thing. <laughs> hey, there you go. We killed a bunch of dwarves. There sure. was six dwarves in that thing. They're still in there. So, Surely it must be like congealed at this point. From the far side, ice elementals seem to be oh, coming man, out and, and pushing you in the direction of the door as well as your objects towards the, the exit out of the arena. Just leave this stuff here. Cause uh, that's just, that's just well, once it gets pushed elements. out of the arena, it's going to shrink. Mm-hmm. But then it's just going to... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But the tank's not going to fit, is it? we got to clean that tank. Uh, it's, it's big enough for a giant, so... Yeah. Tall-wise. Width-wise. Wide-wise. You don't just make like really. Skinny. Yeah, I, I bet a tank. I bet a. I bet a dwarf tank is pretty small, so. <laughs> it doesn't fit a giant. <laughs> well, well. No, the question is, does the tank fit where a giant would fit? Yeah, through the door. You put, let's say. It how wide is it? Well, 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 like as it comes out of the field, will it start to shrink? <laughs> 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 just by like inch. You hear the it. bones crunching again. <laughs> <laughs> Tubes of toothpaste on <laughs> <all> the dwarfs. <laughs> let's see what's this? They're, they're considered huge. Uh, frost giants are large. Color giants are huge. Yeah. yeah just see if the door so fits, it would be the door huge. Fits, whatever. I think I remember the drawings of them being a, a huge length, like width-wise, and then a little bit longer than that length-wise. I point out that during this time... Uh... <laughs> In either case, you are sh- uh, shuttled out by these ice elementals with your belongings left behind in the room to be taken care of by the other ice elementals. You have only what was on you, not including the magical uh, bags. Okay. So we're outside now? Yes. Outside the magic field? Like in a corridor or something? Yeah. You are still very tired, very hungry. So I point out that during this peaceful negotiation, Dr. Hippocampus is wearing large, Incredibly. bloody, spiked armor with a flamethrower on his back. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we had tanks. And a great sword. And, and multiple sword. bombs. Yeah. Like a large well, number it's just of We would probably get disarmed at some point. If they were... That's what's waiting for you here. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to be able to find Can we just show them so that they believe us? <laughs> so, so you've already seen... They've already seen the treaty. That's why they're no, no, agreeing no, I'm to saying meet the, with the, you. The, the, the cities. Yeah. He's going uh, to silent image some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you, you still need to be disarmed before you meet with Dulcine. Victus, don't worry. Once I drop the bomb... In there, see? Doesn't explode. Don't just drop bombs in front of a large group of people. <laughs> like an ice element <laughs> is on you. <laughs> He's got a bomb. <laughs> Uh, these are my, these are my, how well I hidden these knives. I'm okay. going to give them my four silver knives. A holy man covered in bombs. I... With a flame there? With a flame. A large tank full of explosive material. I did. We hair. really don't look good. No. No, we don't. No, I look no. You in particular. I look all right. Yeah. It's, it's for killing undead. That's what you need to say. Don't worry. I walk just through. Like, I walk out of the field. Of course, this guy's head turns back on. I, 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 I say that accusingly after attacking. You literally punched their <laughs> yeah. emissary. I have good reason. Mm. Is she with us? Or are I still she, glaring she, at her? She's walked you out. Um, she insists that you leave the hat behind. Along with your many, many bombs. I mean, the bombs, it's literally just like pieces of metal. They're not made. Okay, so I any, anything, I a that, joke. <laughs> anything that looks like a weapon is uh, taken from you and kept with your other belongings. It's just so a I've replica. Got a 40... <laughs> oh, jeez. I've got a 45 to hide my uh, two daggers. Okay, so I was going to say anything over a 40 you're able to hide. Okay, um, and then I give them my four silver daggers as a like... Yeah, these are these are the ones that okay. I got on. And I don't tell them what this... Goop. What this uh, bag full of silver well, material? If you walk is. out, it would reform. No, it'll stay. Oh, you're gonna make it because he's a dude. So um, Atlas, something. do you resist them taking your spellbook? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My spellbook is worth more than this castle. Would they know to take this? I figured as much. Um, any any spell books or weapons? Anything sharp, pointy, blows up, has bullets? Anything? It's just a replica. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just a replica. It's not real. Uh, Spellbooks but... don't cast spells. You cast spells. I cast spells. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The spellbook is is harmless. It's gonna make her feel better. Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> harmless. See? Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> totally harmless. Now I, I do have a question about Griff's sword, which is if they take it from him, 
um, and he gets in trouble, it will appear in his hand. Probably. Correct? Oh yeah. 100%. Okay, but will there be any like popping into his hand if they take it from him? Because that's you know. I don't think we're in danger. Uh, the sword doesn't want to leave Griff. Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's the my question. The sword itself does not want to leave Griff, so that's a thing. Okay. If you willingly give it up, though, would the sword still pop back onto like his back or something? The sword's will will of its own. I don't I think remember. I think the sword will walk like on its on its. No, no, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> I think the sword. The only thing that happens with the sword is whenever he's in danger, yeah. it will appear in his hand. Yeah. Okay. So so long as you don't are not in danger or threatened, it will stay here with the other equipment. Okay. The only weapon Atlas has is alchemist fire. Two, two flasks. <laughs> okay, so... Don't, 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 don't you have the knife in your... Oh. <laughs> don't try and test me here. So going around, Havoc is leaving his whip. I, I leave my whip, I leave my falchion, I leave my sword, I leave my very crossbow, I leave my plus ten strength compound bow, and my bandolier of... Why don't you um, take the plus eight strength? That one you can reach easier. Look, it is, it's, it'll make I sense eventually. That stuff. Um, <laughs> you, you're uh, uh, my uh, alchemist fires. Turning war, yeah. <laughs> death. They're taking um, everything I made. Volley and uh, Zul agree to stay here with our gear to make sure none of it is touched. Start picking it up. Actually, technically, could I? Because I, because I keep my whip in my glove of storing. Roll. Oh, because they would know I have it because they would have been suppressed and it would have appeared. Yeah, pop it up. <laughs> It's just they're pouring out of your hand. <laughs> Victus, other um, than the two that you've hidden, um, I give them my four silver daggers and two saps. Okay, and that's everything. And your alchemist fire. Yeah, if you got any I know you've got some. How much alchemist fire do I have? I've got five. A crate. Five. <laughs> <laughs> give it up. I give them five alchemist fire. Um, I guess I'll give them my sling of throwing and my. Uh, what else do I got? I'll give him my poison. Jeez. Oh, my jar of gelatinous cube. <laughs> Why? Who cares about that? Uh, they'll probably look at that. <laughs> the, the, no, like... You're not bringing gelatinous <laughs> to this place. <laughs> you guys are so sketchy looking. Silver. We've been traveling in the north. This is I what have, happens. I have a very dusty mace that looks like it hasn't been used in like a, a year time. or more. Okay. And I hand that over. Other than that, I have a spike gauntlet. But I mean, this is my gauntlet. You also have a warhammer. Do I have a warhammer? Yeah, I gave you one. Where'd I... You weren't there for that. You're like, they, where did this come from? We found a small warhammer. Why I go to walk through the, the magnet thing? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess you can have that too. Atlas. Atlas will give up his wand of blindness, deafness, <laughs> and his alchemist fire. Two flasks. That's all I got. Doctor. Um, I have two loose daggers for some reason. <laughs> I have uh, my Lucerne, the Pac-Man longsword, Waka Waka. I mean, are they patting us down? Or are they just a like, great sword, a yeah. composite yeah. longbow? That's the assumption. Wherever yeah. I'm hiding it, they can't find it. How do you hide it? <laughs> Jeez, don't ask. What's the skill? Silver fillings. Uh, sleight of hand. I'm hiding it with sleight of hand. And I'm wearing large, bulky robes. So presumably they're hidden in some sort of like... I think they could be my boots. They're my boots. So I know you've got I some sort of massive sword. I think you've got like yeah, there's yeah, the king great I, sword. I, I gave it king great sword. King great sword from the undead dude that yeah. you killed. Yeah, that's why I said my great sword. Pac-Man long sword, lucerne, composite longbow, two daggers. How are you walking? And do you, do you have any At twenty feet potions? per round? Is how he's walking. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have. <laughs> Have, How is he walking? I have a little vial of just what looks like watery liquid. So the universal solvent that well, you I have, received last I have time. Uh, universal solvents, but those are just like, it's like mineral spirits. He also has spikes on his armor. That's a thing. I can't take the spikes off. No, could you, you take, take the, the armor, armor off? off? I could take the armor off. We should. Do they make me? You should probably <laughs> take the armor off. But he's going to be naked. <laughs> no. They'll, they like poke Where's you. Strip. It, depends, it depends on if they demand it of him. Do they demand they just, me to take it's off It's a weapons. bloody evil armor. They just said weapons. I, it's not. We're holding it's you healed to, because of the person who If we can't hold not. you to your word, how can we hold us to our word? Griff, what do you leave? Mm, my morning star, my sword, Nova sword, uh, and my chop axe. Okay. Um, Morgrim leaves all her spears and her lances and her javelins right. and her long swords. 
a ton of spears. How are you walking? <laughs> yeah, I have so a magical weak. quiver from No, somewhere. you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. All of those things got ejected. <laughs> For in the, sure. In the, in the room. Um... My All ma- of Morgrim's nebulous inventory space has been ejected oh, into that room. Oh, for sure. Uh, her sling. Anything interesting? <laughs> oh, he already gave up your sling. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. Um, that and that's really the weapons. Um, she's walking very light. <laughs> All right. Having been thoroughly poked and prodded to your disagreement, um, feeling much lighter and very naked, uh, you are allowed to continue through the... I guess, search room, if you will, into a long corridor. Uh, again, very, very rounded, marble, white, uh, with, again, that feeling of no actual end to the ceiling, almost as though it goes off into the heavens. Uh, you are led down through these many, many twists and turns of this not level um, structure. It's almost as though it flows and twines with an organic shape. Uh, to a very heavily ornamented, ornamented room where standing outside waiting for you is Dulcinea. Well? This is the room of, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, guys, Durgin? Durgin. Durgin. Uh, he is clearly not expecting you. But Perfect. this is the opportunity for us to talk. And she will lead you into his room. I knock on the door. Um, <clears throat> what? You better have that <laughs> chicken I ordered. My no, God. Oh, God. <laughs> different accent. Different accent. It's got to be the most <laughs> annoying voice I can come up with. Yeah, now. but there was a bit at the end there that sounded a little not politically correct. All right, let's see. Um, are they usually <laughs> deep throated? What? <laughs> Go away. Go away, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you got an annoying voice, but... Yeah, it's got to be obnoxious. Okay. Uh, Dulcinea leads you with um, supposedly Havoc's mother into a room that is heavily furnished with draperies and gold. It smells super, super strongly of perfume, like it's almost dripping and drenched in it, and there is food everywhere. Everything is large-sized, almost as though it's created for um, any of the giants living here, but then just left at that size for this clearly humanoid creature who is very, very fat, very, very sweaty, and lounging in what could be a bed or a couch, hard to tell with all of the blankets and pillows. Um, Mouth is covered in sweaty greasy chicken and he has his hands deep in what could be a pudding or a sauce hard to tell as he crams it down his throat oh. does uh <laughs> leaving his hands <laughs> floating like does Durst Grind even want him back uh, no. <laughs> who cares he asked do you want to continue the dwarves for like not being super incompetent or do you want them to be incompetent I could, I could I could like polymorph him a buff body that's not gonna be I think we're worried about the uh, internal fortitude. Who cares? He just wants him back. Yeah. All right. Are you dirty? No, actually, this this is actually quite good. Yeah, that's what I thought. I am. You got some more wine for me? No. Shut the fuck up. Don't. Uh, I got bad news for you, buddy. We know your father. He'd like you back. I know him too. What? <laughs> <laughs> He wants you back. Maybe come back. He thinks you're dead. <laughs> he thinks that you died in the north. Let's... I'm not dead. <sighs> yeah. So you where's are, my line? You are a peace treaty. If your compliance is not a factor, you will return to your father, and the peace will be sealed. We also got what? bad news. You're getting kicked out by the uh, cloud giants. They don't want you anymore, cloud giant. Is this true? He turns and looks at Dulcinea in a whiny, whiny voice. I want to stay. <laughs> we can tie him up. <laughs> we can very much. I honestly him. would feel better if we just killed him and then resurrected him, so we won't have to deal with him. <laughs> but we get the. I mean, Dulcinea clearly at almost her wit's end. Her, the figure of her father still floating behind her looks with an exasperated tone at Durgin. Durgin. Yeah. Um, and says, "These folks have offered to take you away." Well, I feel like every everybody gets what they want if we just 
Leave? Leave with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I grab, um, is there any cloth nearby? Oh, there are blankets and robes and undergarments strewn I, about. I grab an undergarment and I tear it. <laughs> and I say, I got the gag. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dulcinea, uh, having been rejoined by supposedly Havoc's mother. Could you just um, send him? Just teleport him? Just go with him. <laughs> just... Can you teleport somebody else to a location? Well, he needs to be willing to teleport. Uh, we, we, to, he, he, oh, shit. he to just fail a will check to not... We have no issues with you taking him. We simply want to be sure that if there's danger coming, it is not coming for us. It might be. Um, it could very well be. It right. won't be from us, though. Yeah, it'll come from the, the city. There are, okay, let's describe it. Hit it with the minor image. <sighs> yeah, let's do what we do best. Someone I don't have that prepared. What? You have ghost sound. I, I have ghost sound. I, yeah. <laughs> you know this gag. <laughs> I can make it sound like... No, no, no. You, you, you know this gag. So I do the minor <laughs> images. <laughs> right. We've done this before in a different world and a different universe talking this about right. abstinence. <laughs> Let me talk to you about the importance of not having sex. Wait. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the walking cities. Yeah. So I make, you know, minor image of the cities destroying... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going through the bit. <laughs> the first time we've recorded this bit, but we've used it before. <laughs> there is a town in the south known as Angwith. Angwith. It's like so the the image is like a very pretty picture of uh, it's very the tree. Yeah, yeah, it's like the sun shining. Death rain. No death rain. <laughs> That's less accurate. There's a little bit of death rain. Some death rain shows right up. Now. People start dying in the image. <laughs> they were okay. <laughs> For the most part, people were generally happy until. Giant pig. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to think that throughout this, Dulcinea and supposedly Havoc's mother are standing together, conversing, listening, um, and they're like almost making references to some of their own information. Giant pig eats the city. We try to stop it. We save a lot of people who... Is that like miniature of you? Yeah, like... there's like... These are like little... Uh, like. Stick figures. Or like popsicle stick with yeah, popsicle sticks cardboard with on like it. Pictures Guys, of us. we've got to animate this. This is coming out in two years. <laughs> and so, we, we put in a lot of effort trying to make sure people died. None of us dragged any of them through the goop. <laughs> to make sure people died? <laughs> to make sure people didn't die. There you go. There we you saved go. many refugees. They all retreated back to the city of Cordenova, which you might know about. Uh, <laughs> we tried to stop the pig. Or at least some of us did. However, the pig, unbeknownst to us, has the ability to teleport. And the pig feeds off of rifts. You wouldn't happen to have one of those, would you? You wouldn't happen to have one of those, would you? We do not. Okay. Um, could Griff and Victus roll uh, diplomacy, please? While, while you're doing this beautiful presentation. Well, the person with higher diplomacy rolls, and the other person gives them a plus two. Oh, oh wait, are you another. using a reroll? Yes. Why? My diplomacy's super high. Yeah, well, my diplomacy's good, too. We're both well, doing it. I was going to say, if Victus is talking, you are, you would be giving him the plus two, correct? Yeah, so I'm... I'm All right. This is only a... Uh... Thirty-three. Okay, so he's, he, he's practiced it before, but it, like he messes up a couple times. Yeah, he says he made sure a lot like, of people died instead like of didn't 45, die. Yeah, forty-five, whatever. These large walking cities: one can teleport; two are really hard to kill; three require a large uh, army and like coalition of multiple cities to work together, which means. Dwarves, and it's like a picture of a dwarf hand and a <laughs> hobgoblin, hobgoblin hand shaking. Dwarves and hobgoblins need to work together. And that means this guy, and it's a picture of a <laughs> turkey. He needs to come with us because, and it's a picture of Doom with like a bunch of kids surrounding him. Somebody fucked up. Oh, does he, do you gotta let him get away with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, we wouldn't have to be here if it wasn't, wasn't for, for Doom. Yeah. So, uh... Grandma! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a picture of her. You're a grandmother! <laughs> like, yeah, it's just a Congratulations! It's like streamers. <laughs> uh, so, so, Dulcinea, um... Contemplates your, your presentation uh, with a... In- uh, worried, but slightly bemused um, expression on her face. Questions after the presentation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, and, and proceeds to make the statement that this is clearly a 
we're on a continent, continent. Yeah. Yeah, continent-wide concern. Yes. No, it's a global it's concern. It's a global, a global concern. concern. We've got another continent that we got to deal with in a bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just shows a picture of Zool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the funny man downstairs with your equipment. Yes. There's nothing funny about him. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a little funny. Uh, my primary concern, as you can imagine, is to what is left of my kind and my people. They've I have got no... A, they've got a fucking... Uh, snow bear. Snow bear? Fuck. Polar bear. Polar bear. Snow bear. I live in the north. I, I would have accepted that translation. <laughs> a snow bear. They've got a polar bear one. It probably roams in northern lands. It might eat a giant floating city. That is of some concern. We can offer you... Does this thing move? We can offer you harbor. <laughs> How much altitude can this baby get? <laughs> When this gets up to 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. You have come into my home, though against your own will, with many weapons of destruction. Yeah. You have harmed my um, advisor, and now you want to know the specs of my home? You give me quite pause to trust you, No, in our defense, we would not have been able to go into the north if it wasn't for having large amounts of weapons of destruction. And him attacking your advisor is obviously a family thing. I would also put it a little bit on her. Maybe yeah. she probably could have been a little bit more communicative. Yeah, maybe she wouldn't abandon an infant to a life of torment that he has only turned around in the last six months. This seems like a fair thing. We had to go through a lot of counseling. Sure, yeah. He almost hulked out. We've had to follow him like six times. Victus had to places. stab him twice, I think. I stabbed him twice! Yeah, and I'm still sore about that, too. <laughs> I punched... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be my AC. The difference oh, I is, might, I may have done it. he's feeling a lot more now. He yeah. doesn't know how to handle his emotions. 39. Fuck. <laughs> he was cursed by a Linworth. Stop punching me in the face! 7. That better be non lethal. Oh. Improved. <laughs> Grays. Um, in, in, yeah, it could be a non lethal. I get to choose. Improved. Oh, I'm sure I get to choose. Is it. Is it. A... Then choose. <laughs> I, I, I'm non lethal. I okay. chose. Oh! This is a lot to take in, says Havoc's mother. Um, when I left, though unwillingly, my son's behind, there were five hobgoblin monarchs and one cloud giant. It was clear to me where I was most needed. Now we have my son on the throne. Um, the hobgoblin rulers, of which I didn't agree, have been taken care of. You're welcome. Yes. Right. You had two children with one of them. At the very least, you could have not given, like, just, I couldn't, uh, why do I even exist? You have a place in this story, I am stuff. sure. <sighs> but this concerns me. You have been cursed by a frost giant? A frost giant? Uh, a Linwood. Frost, Linwood, Linwood, thank you. Linwood? Uh, f- among other things, apparently. What are you looking at me? He's being cursed by his art friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I stabbed you like twice. That Lindworm did a lot. He stabbed him because he was hulking out. Yeah, as well. That Lindworm just did it for shit. Yeah. How have you been feeling? Really weird. A little stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Silver stabbed you too. Look, we can write up did another he? treaty, if oh, you'd like, God. between <laughs> at least the Hobgoblins and the, the Giants, <laughs> if you'd like. Or was uh, it- Dulcinea seems to latch onto this idea um, w- with great enthusiasm. It has been ages since any sort of agreement was formed between our two worlds. Oh, also, I put the little piece the of food you're eating that I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> little mammoth jerky. We have a proposition. What? We could try bringing back some of your kind. No. Mm. <laughs> Let them figure that out. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We don't need to worry about that. We should save that for, like, important stuff. You have a small cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and a picture of a dome. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Fill up the <this> saxophone. <laughs> Everything here is giant size. It's glowing! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um. my heavens. Whew. Okay, so uh, Dulcinea um, requests that both um, 
Havoc and Durgin sit down with her to construct uh, a treaty for them. How would you like to proceed? That sounds boring. Uh, what do the giants want from us? Peace. Okay. Um, d- <laughs> duh. First, first and foremost. What are the conditions of this peace? Um, the Dulcinea says that as the as of the last of her kind with the the frost uh, giants, she Look, wants to make we, sure that our lines can't end. That's the whole reason for bringing this asshole back. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't want to be disturbed. She doesn't want any of the um, trade routes to come up through her land. They want to be Easy. Yeah, left awesome. alone. Yeah. Nobody's coming up here. Duh, duh, duh. Nobody's going to send a trade route. Ah, we're going into the worst part of the place to go through. Uh, she would like a monument of remembrance to be built um, for her people, since once she is gone, there will be no more cloud giants. That's not you. They have tyranny over the lands. I mean, you could probably still do it, but like... These are reasonable requests, Where does she guys. want it built, though? Didn't yeah. you guys, like, decide ah. many people? Uh... On the, the grounds of the ruins of the castle. Okay. Castle. Yeah. The ones like that below we us. Yeah. Yeah, Why we, do we have to do that? You could do that in like 20 minutes. Yeah, we could do that in like 5 minutes. I could do that in like 12 seconds. Yeah. Exactly, guys. These are not big requests. Sure. Um, what Check. do the dwarves and hobgoblins want? Um, Durgan what, what wants... Do, what do the dwarves want? Uh, yeah, Durgan is like, I want a, a large size cake every month. Um, he he wants like a a, a a fancy feast on his birthday, <laughs> like the cat fancy <laughs> fancy feast. I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna grab a shoe from the ground and throw it at him. You shouldn't do that. He he, he shouts in, in anger, but is unable to determine where it came from because he can't swivel his neck. It's too fat. At least you guys are establishing a tree. By the way, he was carried by several of the Owl Tangu over to the seat, which he is sitting in with uh, Dulcinea and Havoc. At least we have a peace treaty with Jabba the Hutt. And the Hobgoblins would like military support in our campaign against the walking cities. What um, Dulcinea um, haggles with you over the number of soldiers. She is uh, reluctant to uh, give many lives. The answer is all of them. Uh, j- just to like fast forward this for you guys, um, the contributions from uh, Durgan are superficial, silly, and yet agreed upon because it was yeah. The, yeah. The only he's thing he he's basically written out of this. Yeah, um, D- Dulcinea is um, what, what, what's the word when she's satisfied, but. Um, Satisfied? No. Um, pass, passated? Pa- oh. Pacified? She's pacified uh, when you uh, request, when she's allowed to keep um, the heads of the households um, and the main fighting forces will be allowed out. I don't, I, I don't think she understands the gravity of the situation, considering she's the so far above she, the surface of the earth. She, she wants to um, make sure that the, their lines can continue if the whole family is wiped out. Th- therein lies the issue. If mm-hmm. everybody doesn't fight, everybody will get wiped out. The, so you guys can argue over that. While they are working on the... Um, uh, the treaty, you have the opportunity to explore Durgin's uh, room uh, as, as well as, um, if you would like, interact with the ghost. We're going we're gonna to loot the room. Uh, who, 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 is, who is kind of hovering around you guys, very, very upset, right, uh, gonna, making faces because he clearly can't hear. <laughs> How? Well, eating like a piece. So, what brings you here? Um, he, he, he shouts, and you can't hear anything. Hey, uh, uh, Wardrum? She's over in the corner talking to a lot of the, uh, uh, Owl Tengu. Cool. Hey, Wardrum, could you, uh, could you, like, translate what this guy's saying? If only someone had speak with Haunt. If only. Do you have speak with Haunt? Who? Speak with Haunt? Who? Speak with Haunt? Who? You. You? Who's you? Griff. <laughs> Griff, do you have the ability to talk to this ghost? Maybe. You're a bit of a ghost guy. No. I definitely haven't talked to my ghost and Silver's ghost. I, I remember that happening. Oh. So this must be your wallet. <laughs> that makes sense? That makes sense? <laughs> then take it. It's not mine. It's not mine. Could you talk with this ghost? He looks so moody. 
Yeah. Fine. What, he's not, he doesn't have anything interesting to say. He's a ghost. I'm sure he doesn't. Yeah. Well, I have some insights. Like the last maybe. two ghosts I talked to were really interesting. Yeah, but this was He's just a boring king this that's dead. This could be the high king, and he might have uh, knowledge uh, about the walking cities. Uh, he's been old. Uh, he's an old dude. Fine. Yeah. I'll talk to him. All right. Speak of ghosts. Speak okay. Of so, Actually, if you... Yeah, 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 I'll just speak with Han. Okay, so you cast, um, speak with Han on, uh, this ghost, and, uh, with, with a roar that could shadow, shatter, uh, glass. I'm pretty sure I only hear it. Um, so you cover your ears. Um, uh, let's see, what's, what's his name? Hold on. I'm pretty sure I only hear it. Speak with Han. Is it like a mind thing? Like it Come on. Do you need me to find his name? Pathfinder. Yeah, it's because it's hidden in here somewhere, isn't it? Haunt. Yeah, so right. Talk to your haunt, by the way. What? <laughs> We're getting a lot of reveals on. What's happened? <laughs> it should be Don't worry about in it. the like the bit where I talk about them, not the description. Not even oh, really okay. sure why I'm even here, or how I got here, or why I'm so tired. <laughs> Poor, poor Silver. You're now fatigued I've got it on my for the phone. next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to me? I don't well, think it works that way. No, I don't you know if take it, it off. Yeah, I don't, yeah, they don't take it off the same way as a, as a suppress. <laughs> but it definitely feels like I haven't slept for a year. File. For a second. NPCs. King of the End Endless Ice. No? No. Yeah, that, that should be him. Right? Okay, Stormlord. Yes, the Stormlord one. Right. Okay, I got his name. Sorry, guys. To cast this, by the way. Oh, so all this. Well, it's a ten minute. So yeah, you... th th there's a bit of hashing yeah, out. To I'm be just, done. I'm just saying. And no, can't... no, all of them. You can't have all of them. I'm getting nothing out of this treaty. I'm getting nothing out of this treaty. <laughs> so clearly, a lot of arguments. Um... I mean, Speak with Hunt has um, restrictions. Just What's so you know. I don't know if you want to just go over it, yeah. skip it, but... Yeah, sure. I get... Oh, okay, so I... 14, 7 questions? Ask him what he knows about the walking cities. Because he's going to know anything about you that. You might. Well, how they just showed up? Maybe they've dealt with walking cities. In how? The how? They would be dead. It's a giant polar bear. The dwarfs killed them all. Or the hobgoblins killed them all. Sure, but maybe the reason why the hobgoblins killed them all... He's not going to know anything about the walking cities, Victus. He's not going to know anything about the walking maybe cities. Maybe he knows some sort of weapon. We barely know anything about the walking cities. Maybe he knows some sort of powerful weapon. Might yeah. know some sort of yeah. powerful weapon. Yeah, right. Like a sword or something. An appeal to his, uh, his like, want to preserve his people. I don't know, he's yelling. He's super annoying. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so because um, Havoc and Dulcinea are unable to come to an agreement, she asks for a recess while she talks to uh, Havoc's mother, uh, and they leave the room by the time you are able to activate your haunt, okay. if you would like. Yeah. Um, They're not interested in guns. I don't understand it. <laughs> they, she's got no use for ships, uh, no use for guns, no trade. I've got nothing to offer. It's a gun. Um, they probably have guns. like a... We've got cannons. Right. It's like a smaller version. It's like a small oh. cannon. What? Oh. But also, like, they, they're not just in cannons either. Which is weird, because you'd think they'd just be able to use them like a gun. Yeah. Did you show them the tank? They saw the tank. They weren't impressed. Which I don't understand either. I don't even have those. We should make some of those. I'll take the bloody one for R&D. <laughs> <laughs> we should clean that out. No. We should clean that out. We should spend, like, a day where we clean out that tank. It's stinky in your pocket. That's only going to stay small for like the next 16 days. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wears off? Yeah, it wears off. Shrink wears off? Yeah. Oh. I don't think Duffy knows Someone that. needs to tell her to Duffy. <laughs> well, you can cast it. You can just keep casting it so he's going to have to... I don't think he's been like... Well, no one... I, I technically have, but I haven't said, oh, every, every 16 what you days... What do using the slots? Yeah, well, there's like, there are a lot of days that we have That's in our true. travel where it's just like, uh, you don't do anything. All right, whatever. I talked to this guy. All right. Uh, a, a roar in your ears. Um, the king goes, I am the king of the endless, endless ice, the stormland. Copacabana. Copacabana. Yeah, sure. Uh, Regent. Regent? Just, just a Regent. name. That's all you really need. Um, Regent. I, 
I have ruled all of the sky and all of beneath, and I have had my life and my people taken from me. Cool story, bro. He then inhabits your body. You have to uh, all roll initiative, and you have to do a resist a to will save. <laughs> will. Yeah, make this a will save. Like a really casual, like, like, damn it, <laughs> god damn it, Vintus. <laughs> How was I supposed to know he would try to possess you? We're all gonna beat his initiative. Will notes. save? Yeah, and uh, initiative, please. Can we do initiative first? Yes. Um, so, Havoc. 17. Okay. Victus. 24. 15. Silver, 15. 27. 27. Jeez, you've been rolling good. No volley. Um, doctor. 21. 21. Griff. Oh, I, I gotta do... Morgan freaking Rick, she rolled a one and she gets a minus one. <sighs> Zero. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, twenty-five for um, initiative. Okay, thank you. And what was it? Twenty-eight for will save. Twenty-eight. So he needs to beat. Probably beat it. Oh yeah, I think he beats it. I'm just double checking. Da, 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 da. Oh, so is this what they have to beat? Yeah, the big will save versus. <laughs> okay, okay. So you are you are successful in um... shutting him out. Yes. You're the king of nothing. <laughs> what, are we, what are we fighting him specifically? I don't know. Yes, he's so very hostile. Have we been attacked by anybody else other than him? No, he's just, just him. He tried and to inhibit my body. Everyone else just left the room. <laughs> inhibit your body. Inhibit my body. Inhibit. He tried to rape me. Inhibit. Okay, so Atlas. He also inhibited me. That's true. Um, is there okay. any specific metals that are good? Who knows about ghosts? We've literally fought ghosts. Yeah, I've... Didn't you research no, after you fought all the ghosts? all of our ghost? ghost touch shit in the other room. We, yeah, we don't have any weapons. We have magic. I do. Shh, I know you do, but you need to be quiet about that. Is the sword, sword in my hand? The sword is totally... The sword would probably the, the be in The sword is definitely in your hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Griff is just like, no, no, I have no. anchoring, though. What does anchoring do to a ghost? <laughs> um, it prevents it from leaving? Teleporting, teleporting, and plane shifting. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Which is spiritual just anchoring? Do you have a is that sword? different? No. You came up with it. <laughs> no. It's just super powerful. I want a sword. You don't want a sword? No. What are we gonna do with this? We shouldn't sword? fight it. We should just walk away from it. I don't think we can just walk away from it. Yeah, I don't think we can. And probably killing it is a bad idea too. If we kill it, we should just. This is gonna go terribly for the treaty. Yeah, this is is it gonna leave its body behind? Like, what are they gonna find? How about havoc? Okay. Have we'll I... fight it off, not kill it. Havoc, go find her, the the queen lady, do, 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 do whatever her name is, and just be like, "Yo, your dad's like trying to kill me." All right, so real quick, I just so want to make sure okay. I didn't miss anyone. Atlas, Griff, Victus, Doctor, Havoc, Silver, Morgan. That's your order, by the way. Sounds right. Okay, awesome. Um, so um, first things first, you resisted. Um, the the ghost possessing. Possess, possessing you. If that's a surprise thing, I technically get to act. Well done. That's true. He would get have, to act. That means I also get to act. So <sighs> both of you. I get to throw a knife at it. Both it's of not you. I can do anything. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a mithril knife in returning. Uh, I guess that did something. All right, both of you may uh, go for your. Can you touch a ghost? A surprise <laughs> action. Does yes. mithril hurt ghosts? I think it does. Have to not finish. anything. If it's magic, it can you can deal damage. Yeah, if, if, and you if, deal half damage, mm -hmm. and there's a fifty percent mischance or something like that. Yes. Um, do Do I know of this this ethereal's or, or how would I I, I want to know about this thing's what makes him and what he's weak against. Okay. Okay. What is that? Knowledge religion. religion. Please. Hell yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> So that's death is hard. Come on, shut up. I got a twenty-nine. Thirty-three. To hit it. Okay. Three to know what, what it ticks. What makes it tick. Okay, so what it hurts, what it can't get hurt by. The most important numbers are the biggest. <laughs> Shush, Sam. So first things first. Am I looking? I think he does his action. First okay. Way. So you want to know about it. That's not an action. That's the precursor to the action, but yes. Okay. Um, so he would probably learn. It's all incorporeal. The it has undead traits. Mm -hmm. um, 
any immunities it has, okay. any weaknesses it has. All right, immunity to all mind effects, including charms, compulsions, moral effects, patterns, and phasmas. Phantasms. 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 Uh, immunity to bleed, death effects, disease, paralysis, poison, sleep effects, and stunning. It is not subject to non-lethal damage, ability drain, or energy drain. It's immune to damage uh, to to its uh, physical ability scores. Uh, doesn't feel exhaustion or fatigue. So undead traits. Yes, undead traits. It does not breathe, eat, or sleep. I didn't hear no damage from precision. That's part of undead traits. Undead yes, traits. Sorry, yeah. it's a lot to read. It's this whole section. Yeah, and also I'm skimming. And I also truncated it because Morgan. Thank you. Also, so undead traits is no incorporeal, right? So well, regular stuff doesn't hurt him, but magic does. Magic does. Yes, magic can hurt it. At least magic in order to hurt it at all. Mm-hmm. And uh, it still spells takes, can hurt. It still it, takes a reduced damage on a. It still takes fifty percent damage unless it's ghost touch. Yes. Unless it's positive energy. Heal it. <laughs> I could. Zorch! But it probably has a high. I have boots of speed. I Actually, yeah, really so fast. healing would hurt it, right? Because yeah. it's undead. I technically don't want to kill it, though. Actually, Griff does want to kill it. Griff wants this thing to die. Very much so. I realized I can do something. But you can't touch it, can you? A touch. How does, how you, does touch matter? You magic can work? touch it, but it has the 50% mischance. So I took... Gosh, this could be a short encounter if he just... The dice got to be in his favor. I can reroll. Pretty sure I took rapiers. Okay. Finesse training rapiers. I can transform my sword into a rapier. Okay. So I'm going to have a rapier in one hand. Yeah, to do. so Griff, Griff, Griff is just going to be like... Right, so Griff first and then... Yo, guy. What the fuck? How does this action work? Let me see here. This is a duration, standard action, so that wouldn't do anything. Oh, no. No. This is an undead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Griff is going to expel him, and then he's going to cast Smite Abomination on, on himself. Okay. On your... On you? Yeah, because it's a it's a buff. Oh. Smite abomination. So I I become paladin ish for a couple of seconds. <laughs> God's grace opens up. Uh, I draw upon positive energy and emulate some of a paladin's power to smite undead. Choose one undead creature as your target. Your melee attacks against that target gain a bonus equal to your charisma on uh, my attack rolls and a bonus equal to your caster level on damage rolls. Oh boy. Your melee attacks also bypass the target's DR. Good. Okay. Never used it. Seems appropriate. That's well, it. getting the bonus damage on your caster level is good. I'm pretty pissed off. Wait, your caster level is your bonus 15. damage? No, because your what's your charisma? Seven. So your caster level is now 22. Oh. So I get a bonus plus 22. No, your spell is now calculated as though it were 22. What do you mean? Because you don't, you deal, oh hang on, heal, heal maxes out at 150 anyway. One fi- I'm not healing. No, oh, what are you doing? He's smiting, so it's, his caster level is his paladin level for a single holy smite. Is what it's, this is. He's delivering a holy smite? No, 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 no. It's, a, it's a buff. I know it's a buff. What spell are you casting? Smite Abomination. No, what spell are you going to cast next? Well, I can't do anything next because it's a standard action to cast oh. that. Alright, don't worry about I'm it. So when he, when he makes an attack action, like a paladin using a holy smite, it's as if he's a holy smite of a paladin equal to the, the paladin's level is his caster level. Yeah. So he's a fifteenth level paladin for one attack. It's a melee attack. So that's uh, fine. I get it. Okay. So, All right, so once we initiate, Victus, throw your knife. I throw my knife. Okay. So I got a, I already rolled this. I'm it's sorry. Yeah. Plus, did you... uh, plus nineteen, so twenty nine. Twenty nine, and that is against AC or touch or AC. 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 Twenty nine. Yeah. It hits. And now you roll a d100 and see if you can get above a 50. Yes, please. Good thing I grabbed my d100 dice in this. 68. No, I'm sorry. 86. That Wait. is above a 50. E- either way, you get it. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to do a d4. Oh. <laughs> Look, man. Not everybody can have... Look, I do d4s too, man. Uh, d4. 6 plus 1. Was it a plus 2? Yeah, 
Eight. Ten. Ten damage. Okay. Five damage. Fantastic. Would you like to act both of those actions out? Yeah, the moment the ghost like starts rearing up to like attack something. Well, technically, like, oh. no, it, it would go in me, and Griff yeah. would be like, you're the king of nothing, and spit it back out. And, <laughs> and then he, the sword would be in his hand, and he'd just be like, <laughs> Super <laughs> Saiyan, <laughs> gold, gold. <laughs> and Vexus is just like, oh! <laughs> Shit! Whip the knife at it, and the knife appears back in my hand. Perfect. And then I'm like, I'm in Celestial, yelling at Havoc to go get the lady. So somebody who speaks Celestial should, is probably going to have to relay that. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> With the, like, the divine eminence around me. Okay. <laughs> Just to make things easy, Morgrim, who speaks Celestial, will run out of the room. Okay. okay. Yay, no Morgrim. I, I think the, Havoc should do it too, because he's like, I got boots of speed. Guys, just let me write more Grim out of the encounter, please. She's fast. She'll, she'll do it in just, like, X number of rounds. Yeah, but, I mean, like, he's the one doing... Wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be better if, it, if the one who's, like, the one doing the treaty was the one that's like, hey, we don't want to kill this guy? Aren't they doing the treaty in this room? No, no they, they go to the recess. Oh. So that's why Havoc should go get them, because he's, like... We'll figure that out when I can my turn. We've got a bunch of other turns before me. But, yeah, we should okay. move on. Um, so the ghost um, gets to go first. Jeez. Oh. Um, so, uh, if you are successfully, um, ghosted, you're going to stand on a red die. I'm ghosted? Uh, possessed. Um, if he's out and about, he will have his physical ghost, oh, he's gonna try um, to size people. of a giant. I'm going to warn you all right now, this guy is a piece of shit. If he goes inside you, I'm just going to kill you. Oh. Um. <laughs> I was just uh, like, next to Griff, because me and Griff are Yeah, because we just, I mean, if he goes inside someone, you could just heal him out. That's true. Would you die, though? No. I don't know how it works. I don't study magic. That's a good point. Okay. Would you study ghosts? No, so, I've got a single point in spellcraft. <laughs> so we have set up our beautiful encounter. Okay, so because Griff was successful in spitting out uh, the king of endless ice, uh, he is going to turn his eyes onto Victus. Victus, please make a will save. Oh. You better spit I've got out. this cape on. You better spit him out or I'm hitting you with a pretty fucking... Just heal me. Just heal me if I get... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you're good. Uh, does a 29 resist? It does. Um, is that his whole action? Or probably. can I... Yeah, probably. Because the idea is he would then use their action. Uh-huh. Mm. Yes. Uh, Move as though he's them. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... Right now the two of us are just like crossing our arms and be like, No! You're the king of nothing! No, you. Uh, which makes it Atlas's turn. Oh, can I make a... Can I make like a... Like, uh, response? Oh yeah, if you'd like to act it out. Fuck you! <laughs> Fine! That's all I got. I encourage it. Sure. I ain't afraid of no ghost. No. Yeah. No. Nah, nah, nah. Boss, Copyright strike. Right. you good. <laughs> We already have a bust, fucking bust episode. It. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm a. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna send you a video later. Knowledge. Do I want to see this? Shh. Yeah, shut up, you guys. I'm gonna make a knowledge history check. Natural twenty plus many. Knowledge history. I want to know. Give us a number. Yeah. A lot. Stop just saying many. Do the You're math. not allowed to do that. If you don't let us do that, you can't do that. Thirty-eight. There okay. You go. Fucking the minimum thing for knowledge is thirty. Okay. It's crazy. <laughs> I want to know what this guy hates. Okay. Hmm. I'd imagine he hates Havoc. I just have to disguise Havoc. But I'd also like to know how much he hates Havoc. That's why he needs some Havoc. Okay. <clears throat> Storm Lord Kopaka Regent. King of the endless ice, mm -hmm. he who rules the sky and all beneath, a wise and noble king of the cloud giants and undisrupted ruler in the north, or undisputed. he was before his murder, D undistributed. Disputed. Thank you. Now he is a vengeful ghost, undistributed, <laughs> trapped, haunting his daughter Dulcinea, the last living cloud giant in the north. Yeah, we know well, who she is. Well, he is a wreath that can affect and attack things he is completely voiceless except uh, now that you've cast right. haunt um yeah but what does he hate probably the hobgoblins that killed his people yes or specifically the one that killed him maybe i don't know 
Let's Just go with some timing. Davik, did you kill this guy? No. Davik was not. Born. I was being born. Yeah. Still. <laughs> yeah. So he he um, is he... angered that all of his people except one uh, are gone. Uh, it is rage and anger and hate. Um, he he is trapped in this world because of it. He has unresolved issues over the fact that th- they lost. The Odyssey campaign, also known as unresolved issues. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move over to, to Victor, uh, not to Victor, to Havoc. Oh. Moving over to Havoc. Please move your... Uh, he's pretty far it's away. Not... There we go. Mm-hmm. I'm using you as a focus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast a juiced, juiced banishment. Um, this depends on how much he hates Havoc and Hobgoblins. <laughs> okay. A you lot? Help me with that. A little? Oh, so Havoc in particular? No, he doesn't know him. Uh, Hobgoblins in general? As, as yeah. a genre? <laughs> okay. <laughs> then he needs to make a will save okay. with a DC of 31. That's not mind so, effect. So I need to beat that? Yes. No. So you roll a die and add the will. Yeah. 28. He fails. Are you going to like do that over I don't have any buffs to that, right? No. Um, Is this guy, (laughs) does he have 30, or does he have more than 30 hit dice? I would imagine not, because that's a buttload of hit dice. Yeah, so he would have, he's undead, so he's got a d12 hit die per level. So he's not, his CR is not over 30, or whatever. So he's got a hit die of like so I can affect him with a spell. 25. Okay. Uh, banishment sends him back. Sends him out of this plane. I, he's gone. Okay. I got him. Well, that goes. He's, he's, how he's, long does I it send last? him to his... Uh, it's it's permanent. Well? How yeah. long does it... Yeah. Where does it send him? Good thing you did. To didn't his home it. plane. And because he's a ghost, that would be the ethereal plane. Okay. Uh, so he's not on the material plane anymore. Okay. okay. Well, that's... Good thing you didn't hit him with the sword. I'm gonna hit him with the sword. He's no, he's gone. He's gonna come back. He's gone. He'll be back. Wait. <laughs> can't ethereal. Can't. Not without ethereal jaunt. Oh. Because then they have to return to this plane, and they do that with ethereal jaunt, which makes them shift between the ethereal plane and the material so plane. So he's technically still here, but you he can't do anything to us. Um. He can't see us. He's just. He can't see us. We can't see him. We are not in the same plane anymore. If he were to jaunt over right now, he'd be where he was just standing. If he were to jaunt, he would be over here now. But because Sam made that character and Sam does not know a thing about spellcasting, I really doubt that he knows ethereal jaunt. Morgan, I just like come up with it. Hey, guys, give me a break. He knows ethereal jaunt. Yeah, right? Yeah. I can go visit him right now. (laughs) You could go visit him. I don't don't want him. (laughs) Well... Da, 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 da. So, King's gone. Let's He's at rest that now. Fallout. <laughs> yeah. That was Only Mark when we left that off. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to put my sword back in the flask. I can't. Um, Atlas has like one arm around bed. Havoc. No. <laughs> Don't touch me. You're a great focus. We should have like explained this to her instead of just... Explained it to who? Why don't we just We're not tell her? She's gonna Morgrim! Die. No. So, Morgrim's got to come back Somebody with... Somebody message Morgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Griff, I just just <laughs> stick it in the what bed. That? Oh, that's so dumb. Stick it in the bed. I take the sword and I go hide it under some pillows. Okay, cool. Don't worry, I've got backup plans. Oh, there you go, John. <laughs> Sam doesn't like the backup plan, though. Okay. Oh no, there's, the, yeah, there's a backup plan coming. I'm not excited. I know you're not excited. God damn it! I'll just banish that too. <laughs> okay. So. I know banish too. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Um, Dulcinea well. comes um, back in with Morgrim with the little clatter clatter of her little sharp toes. Oh, we're in trouble, boys. Um, and, and still, the possible air quotes, Havoc's mother. Um, no one's got a name yet, so it's hey. like, hey. Your ladyship. We're all just kind of standing there with our arms. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> fucking dad tried to take me over. Oh, uh, well, he's at peace. We didn't kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, he was already dead, so there's no possible way we could have killed him. Well, we, we could have killed him. We, okay. 
No, we didn't attack. Because we wouldn't have killed him if we, we just put him at peace when he tried to re kill him. Are you saying my last connection to my people is gone? Maybe if he wasn't such an asshole. Yeah. No, he's not gone. You can still talk to him. He's just a plane away. It's technically right That's here. actually kind of true. Yeah. He's not gonna... gone in any meaningful way. So a little bit of meta. How does that work? She can still contact him? You've literally, you're literally standing right next to a shaman who speaks with dead from other planes. She, if she just looks it's just a phone call. That's eyeglass. all. <laughs> if she just looks through her little eyeglass, he'll be standing right there right next to Grit. That, that's it. A dream catcher. It can, can see through the planes? Or it sees into the ethereal. That's how it does. I gotcha. Yeah. So we just, instead of thinking of us as having killed him, instead, <laughs> we moved him onto the opposite side of a wall. We did not help uh, the situation. Roll for diplomacy. Because you just were like, we didn't kill him. Yeah, we, just we just moved him to the other side of a wall. Trump style. How's that work? Mm, are you going to let me re-roll? No. Do you need it? I could probably get away with a 29. 29. Okay. <laughs> Probably She's it. clearly not happy, mm -hmm. um, but she believes that you guys didn't just do this on a whim. Yeah. Um, she has been struggling with his presence her whole life. Or at least so this is a good thing. Yeah. So let's mark that down on the treaty that we'll get rid of no, this no, ghost. No, 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 <laughs> that seems like it's pushing it a little bit. Let's consider this a oopsie and uh, move on. He didn't even view your lead as legitimate. That's a pretty good point. Clearly um, shocked by the way this turn of events has happened. Uh, the the silence is almost deafening to her, having spent her whole life with this other voice speaking in her ears. She Annoying. sits down a little unrattled yes. to continue speaking Fuck. with Havoc. Um, she has now changed her tune to include that all able-bodied um, frost giants will be able to go. I'm just skip over. All right, we'll keep working this out. Um, but while she is clearly shooken and trying to work this out with Havoc, uh, Havoc's mother is going to come up and uh, speak with you guys, asking you about this interaction with the the ghost. I'm not sure if like it's okay for us to talk with you. Yeah. You were just attacked by, or supposedly attacked, um, by the ghost that has been with Dulcinea her whole life. I have been trying to keep her in this realm and grounded, and now it's gone. I mean, we're Is not... that text to me, guys? Are you trying to give me some notes? No. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Right, the sorry. point of a text is that it's quiet. Sorry. It wasn't quiet. Oh, <laughs> it's Chris asking how I'm doing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, silence your goddamn phone. Sorry. So. Uh, I guess two things. One, we're still not like 100% on that motivation. And the second thing of like the last time we had an interaction with somebody who like super wronged one of our friends. Um, they 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 either got killed or we chewed them out, or at least I chewed them out. What? Super wrong. Yeah. Strix. What about Strix? I would chew them out. When? You were not there. You were there for that. For what? Like the whole bombing thing. What? Shield. Remember that? Oh yeah. You didn't really chew them out. I don't, I, think, I don't think he gave you the time of the day. When I mean, yeah. Chewing out is really more of a one-way thing. Yeah, you were releasing your pent-up aggression. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck what you said. That's fine. Were any of you possessed? Yeah. No. Not oh, officially. Not officially. officially. He tried to. Well, yeah, he tried to. But he did touch you. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe. He kind of pushed him off. Point on the doll. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you harmed? Um, which of you were um, attempted a possession? Okay, so she, she's, you too. <laughs> she's gonna like stand you near you, you, doing clearly some shamany nonsense. None of that, please. <laughs> I'll get ready to counterspell. Okay. And I also identify with the spell because that's part of counterspelling. Sure. I was just making flavor, and she was trying to make sure that his soul wasn't harmed in any way, the and that his mind was intact. All right. If she if she tries to intact his mind. I'll counterspell it. In like, make sure he's not crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want him to be crazy. Counting bullshit with bullshit Whoa, here. hey. <laughs> Are we just countering bullshit with more bullshit? Yeah, so she senses that none of the king's personality resides in your mind. Okay. Yeah, good. He's an asshole. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys know of that king, history-wise? Because my understanding from an admittedly not as reliable source of havoc 
He was really angry. Yeah, all the time. No, beyond that. He story. was killed by hobgoblins in a last stand attempt. He Before hid. that, why did the hobgoblins kill him? He was defending his land. The hobgoblins attacked. Why did the hobgoblins attack? Because my grandfather know. Slar was a bad dude. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get at was because the story that he I wanted heard, more land. He, um, the hobgoblin king. Quick side story. Jump in any time in case I mess this right. up. Um, decided that all of the north needed to be under his rule okay. and no longer the subsections of hobgoblin, giant, and dwarf. So this is post Cloud Giants ruled the entire north. They they just ruled the north north so. ice ice. Okay. No, please clarify things. It helps make the world a little more solid. All right, so he was just pissed, not an asshole. He was an asshole. Well, he might have been an asshole. He was an asshole. For reasons that No, made sense. he was just an asshole. There was no reason to do that. We were yeah. just going to talk. I'd probably be a little Probably the first person other than her that he's talked to. That's a good point. In and a also, long time. He appears to be fucking with her mom. And I'm not a hobgoblin. <laughs> it's weird that he didn't go for me. Right. It is weird. Well, because he was talking to him. Yeah. I was just gonna it ask is weird him he went for me going. afterwards. Well, because you threw a fucking you were knife closest. at him. Uh, and you had attacked him. I did throw a knife. You didn't throw a knife at him. You were number three. Not <laughs> throw a knife there was no knife thrown. I don't have any knives. There was nothing off of that. And I wasn't going to smack him with a sword. What sword? There was no sword. You're, You're still glowing know. with the aura of the smite. <laughs> You're like a dude who uses a mace, not a sword guy. Right. I wouldn't use a sword. I know nothing You're, about swords. You don't even know martial weapons. I do, but. No, you don't. Well, I don't know martial weapons, but. I don't, I don't even. Know. I know the sword. I mean, I know rapiers, but that's cheap because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know rapiers. But that doesn't <laughs> the bottom line is, is, he was kind of a jerk. Now he's gone. Good riddance. Uh, uh, tell us, tell us about Havoc as a wee babe. I don't want to know about that. I didn't get to spend much time with him, unfortunately. Yeah. I was called away. Called by who? Yeah. <laughs> You're like tearing a paper. <laughs> like, ah! I'm not in a great state of mind. It's like really undefined about how you just sort of said like, ah, I was needed up north. Yes. Well, you see, um, this is where my father resides. Okay. <laughs> is, is he, he dead here too? right now or is he dead? No, uh, he is still here. Am I one eighth cloud giant? <laughs> <laughs> you're with the, you're doing your um treaty yeah, nonsense. Yeah, doing my treaty nonsense. Would he hear it though? I don't know. How no. good you're hearing? I'm just upset <laughs> in general. I don't know why, but I'm upset. <laughs> uh so when my father came into power and brought taint to the hobgoblin line, so I am simply here to keep uh, Dulcinea's. Uh, b- mind intact. Clearly, this uh, uh, ghost of her father has been weighing quite heavily on her. I, uh, you can see that she's having quite a lot of trouble concentrating with this uh, interactions with Havoc, who is growing more frustrated by the minute. So he's he's having a hard time with it too. <laughs> so that seems like a very reasonable thing, except for the fact that it appears that you left two children alone to help out some cloud giant lady who, worst case scenario, is a really bad leader of a group of people who don't exist. Didn't you leave behind children to go on this adventure? No, they're not born yet. Isn't that just as bad? They're not born yet. I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to stay with them. I was leaving him with his father, his uncle, quite a few... Don't they all Monarchs? have? Don't they all have the name of like slaughter, murder, explosion, death? <laughs> like that's sort of their shtick. My name is Lament. That doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you poor thing. Um, it is the way of our people to be named as such. Okay, but I, I guess that was more of a metaphor of me saying, yo, weren't they tyrants? You know, didn't they, like, slaughter large quantities of our, our, people? Uh, our leaders are called tyrants. That is the title of our... What about that super evil dominant crown that that guy was wearing? That's a pretty good point. Also, yeah. they had to eat people. That seems like a pretty big thing. Who did? The war... Don't ignore the Otherwise. crown thing. That was 20 years after she left. Crown sure. thing's important. I, I gotta Probably check in on the now. crown thing. That was made from the... Yeah, that was the bones of the, the ghost we just killed. Yeah. Really? What was? 
the evil crown. The crown. That he was wearing? Good thing yeah. it blew it up. Um, so that, that didn't exist when she had left. Oh, the crown that uh, Carnage was wearing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quick, gotcha. quick fact check. It's destroyed. So wait, this king was killed like 30 years ago? I think 30 is exactly the number of years ago. Let me check my notes. No, oh, sorry. Seven years. Yeah. <laughs> So almost 30. I don't know, motivation-wise, I'm doing what I'm doing, but like with the assumption that we're uniting the North to ensure my family survives. I'm not sure what helping out one lady. So, excellent question. There is a greater force at play where I have to keep my father safe. I have to keep him separated. His... Simply his name brings power to a demon that haunts my family line. Now that's pathos that I did not know. I am here not just for the giants, though they have one leader left and we have several. But I am here to make sure that my wandering father is not found. Where is he? Even I do not know. You got, like, some fingernails or maybe some hair that belongs to him. We can find him. There's no need to find someone who does not need or want to be found. As I have mentioned, the horrible creature that haunts my bloodline grows ever stronger with every person that he meets and every mention of his name. It is not good to dwell on such a connection. Maybe you got, like, a foreskin. Could we kill him off? It is impossible to kill a god. Ah, no, it's not. I mean... You're, t- you're talking to this shaman level for her? Yeah. Are we talking a god-god, or are we talking someone who's very powerful who likes to leave their god? Either way, we can kill him. Technically. Though... Not technically. That might come at a cost. Probably. But we can. Once. We don't have to. We don't have to, but we can. <laughs> um... Uh, Lament's uh, face has constricted as how quickly you guys have gone from learning about history to let's kill something. <laughs> the, okay, if we're there's clearly about a concern large, here. I a large no. evil god that is hurting our friend and his family. That seems like a good reason for us to I, kill it. I have no love of god. Maybe like some of his blood. What are you trying to do? He's trying to spy on him. Or locate him. On a god? Can yeah. you do that? I don't think he's actually a god. Can you scry on a god? Oh, yeah. What would you even see? He can try. It doesn't well, mean he's going to do it. He's not a god. He's just a guy walking around in the ice. Can you... I pick up a piece of, like, dust. Can you Can you scry on ovum? <laughs> that dust didn't come from ovum. Presumably everything came from ovum. But... <laughs> no, I, don't, I think that dust came from, like, someone that lives here. <laughs> Did you want to try? <laughs> <laughs> Scry on some random skin cells. Well, we're still in the fat guy's room, so it's probably yeah, like. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, it's something can we go anywhere other than here? You, guys you wished to room? meet with him. <laughs> yeah, so, um. I, I, I think. He's also part I'll of be the honest, our original plan was to just kidnap him. Yeah. So, no, uh, actually, I, th- I think it's Earth been long enough. Dead. So, guys, it takes about a week for uh, sustenance rings to reactivate, so. Damn. All of you who have one of those are feeling hungry at this point, for sure. This room is full of food, is it? Mm-hmm. Is you gonna touch anything that's been... Mm. Suppression of a sustenance ring doesn't stop it from working. It just suppresses the effect while it's suppressed. Doesn't have to reactivate, though, for like a, no. a month? No, reattune. I think there's to put it on. That's the attunement, which is when you first put it on. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's treated like it's always been on. If that was the case with me, I'd be fucked for an entire year. Yeah. <laughs> and also, if that was the case, you would, he would—he he actually would be—he wouldn't be able to move for oh. one year. Well, no, I'd be exhausted. Yeah, that's Are like you? minus six, minus six, and you've got oh, well, you no cast, strength. You can cast less restoration just every day. <laughs> just yeah, I have, the I have to of <laughs> <laughs> Strengthen those muscles. A little walker for silver. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but no. Is there a bathroom? Um, So, um, Lament will actually take you out to leave them to continue to work on the um, treaty and take you to a quarters, which everything is giant sized. Um, So, good luck, Silver. Um, But in there are beds, food to eat, um, and she will leave you if you would like. This is going to turn into flushed away. Is this my own room? 
For all of you. All of you will share. Because one bed will probably house all of you. Oh, wow. Silver, is this how you normally feel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Is, 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 it, is, it, is it like it's huge, right? Mm-hmm. You have to climb up the chamber pot. <laughs> so uh, it's just immaculate a, and massive. It's a watering hole. <laughs> so I go into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Um, this, is, this is my own my own boat, right? Is everyone else gone? <laughs> no, one, no. no, you're all sharing the same room, but the bathroom isn't like just sitting in the middle of the room. You're okay. in your so own quarters. Sharing, so it's like a it's like a bunk. It's like we're in a so you get one hotel room. room. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I and only one bathroom. All right, it's gonna be weird. Five, four, uh, five. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom. Okay. And I'm gonna cast a, a summon monster. Oh jeez. Um. Whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, it's quite the power play. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I'll roll this. Two plus. Uh, so there, I, I summon three giant wasps. Okay. <laughs> and I leave. And you leave the bathroom. Why? Yeah. I make sure to close it. Okay, so the next person who goes to the bathroom is going to yeah. get a nasty surprise. Are they surprise. hostile? <laughs> they are allied to Silver. Yeah, they're allied to me. Okay. So are they hostile? Like, would they attack Victor? I mean, I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, assu- I'm assuming none of you know what happened. No. No. And, uh, and I'm just going to close the door and say nothing. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now everyone's going to go. Fuck! Silver? Yeah? Were there what, giant wasps in there when you went in there? There might have been. Why? How did you pee with the giant wasps in there? <laughs> um, well, they weren't in there when I first went in there. No. What do you mean? Did they come out of your butt? What, what you... <laughs> did you pee out giant wasps? Listen, I have a con- I, I'm working on a, on a problem right now. and, and, uh, and uh, What's that? You're going to have to deal with giant wasps for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Are they friendly? What's going on? Oh yeah, they're friendly. They're friendly. They only last a minute, so I'm just gonna have to just, watch. Just, you could wait, or you could just go in there. Okay, give me a. <laughs> do you, do you We're gonna put a big right? H on the box so we know there's hornets. It's inside. really fast though. How long? It's half a second. <laughs> it's just a tube. It's just so there was sand in it. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> we had to play fast games of chess. Oh. Alright, so once a day I have to cast I have to cast something monster. Why? It's just something that's been happening. What but Oh man, another natural twenty. You guys I am on bar. Alright. Until we get into combat, then it's like two. So. Good thing I don't roll dice in combat. <laughs> um Okay, hang on. That's gonna be uh mm, eight. Forty eight. Spellcraft check to identify Silver's summoning ailment. Do I say it or do you? You say it. You came up with this. We yeah. know. I don't okay, know about this. I summon. Well, it's 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 the it's it's the mark. And uh, actually, yeah, I can I can say this now because because um, this goes along with uh, having destruction um, that you guys don't know I have, but I can say because uh, it needs um, holy. A holy mark to cast it, um, and uh, silver. When you think of the mark, you look to the hand, his left hand, and you notice that he actually has like this like semi gauntlet contraption that has like uh, like three stones embedded to it. It's the infinity belt. No. But <laughs> there's three. There's three. Uh, there's three like objects in it, and um, they are pieces from the Iron Glacier. It's a soul caster. Are you feeling okay? Oh yeah. After going to the bathroom, I'm fine. He says as he's like, <laughs> like wear worn down from like a, like the sleep yeah. deprivation, the hunger he hasn't eaten. Have oh yeah, I'm fine. Been, how long have you been summoning creatures behind our backs? My doctor. Yes. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Um, it's it's uh it's it's the. Uh, when did we leave the Iron Glacier? A long time ago. Like a couple months. Yeah, I kind of was. It's like that long. Yeah. Technically, I'm his doctor. Does that mean that there's just like insects all they in disappear. the dwarf world? Okay. <laughs> well, they go away like after like a minute or so. They like uh, whatever I summon, uh, 
a pure, a pure uh, I, I roll on this chart. <laughs> it's going to be different. Uh, last for a minute. Can you choose when that happens? Because that could be like useful in combat. Uh, yeah, yeah. I try to do it when you guys aren't around. But you guys haven't been. We've this been sounds fighting like a it's lot. pretending to be something else. What was it? Please continue. I was just like, this seems to be like a representation for something else. Anyways, it's nothing nothing to worry about. He doesn't have a growing problem. He has a going problem. It might be something to worry about. So yeah. Why? What do you know? Nothing, but it seems like it's something to worry about. Oh good. Then you don't have to talk about my bathroom habits anymore. Do sure. dragons have prostates? Are you starting yeah. and stopping and starting and Wait stopping? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think went on in the bathroom? <laughs> Let me let me check who, as a doctor. Who, have I told anybody? What, Not yet. What We're I waiting know. on that. <laughs> I mean, if he's if it's something involved with his prostate, I approve. What? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I haven't told anybody, right? No. About nope. anything. No. Nope. Oh, and that's wow. why I've shoved you in this room to talk. <laughs> with a uh, with a twenty eight, do dragons have prostates? <laughs> Jesus. Is that a nature check or Doctor, a product did you check? you have like, some sort of credential that you're not supposed to say in my medical history? <laughs> well, you're saying if dragons have prostates, not kobolds. Um, well, oh, do dragons? Not kobolds, dragons. Um, absolutely. They're prehensile. Silver, do you know how to talk to... <laughs> I'm Hunt? sorry, what? what was it? Do you know how to speak with Hunt? I do not know. You don't? No. Oh. Prehensile prostate. <laughs> you should speak with your Hunt. My what? Your Hunt. My haunt? Yeah. You're haunted, right? We know this. I know this. When you summon those walks, one of them went flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of, I kind of, you know, I live with that. It's a, yeah. it's a problem. No, I have it too. But what do you do about it? Goes. I talk to it. Talked? Yeah, I talk to yours. Your prostate? When did you talk to <laughs> Hold on a second. I think we're getting mixed up on our metaphors. Yeah. What do you know about You should hunts? talk to your hunt. But what then what's your hunt? My hunt? Yeah. Apparently is a magical god killer god that inhibits my sword. Inhabits my sword. Wait, so, that's a lot to take. So you got a sword and he got a prostate? That doesn't seem fair. Your sword is a god? No. Is your sword a prostate? I don't know who knows stuff about my sword either. <laughs> I don't really know anything about you, Griff, actually. I just assumed that you've just been here. I mean, you helped me out. Let's be honest, you've been a little catatonic for the past yeah. couple months. Well, yeah, I'm pooping out wasps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell anybody it. Uh, we kind of, like, put them into slave labor, making items, too. Which I yeah, appreciate. It's a living. Yeah. I'm like, you don't pay me anything. I we do. We pay you thousands of I pay. think I've... <laughs> that goes into the weapons. Well, it's not our problem. <laughs> I, I have to use crate food and water. <laughs> <laughs> He's been eating slop. <laughs> this water um, just gives me everything, man. Now it gives me wasps. I think... Uh, now everybody has a problem with it. <laughs> what? The, just leave it. Why can't it give you other... They're than, gone by now. <laughs> have I told anybody that I even talked to the sword? I think I did. I think, I think people know you talked to the sword. I and I think I've said that, like, of... Nova. Nova was in there or something. No, you did in front of Bali. Did I? Yeah. What's the deal with that gauntlet with those uh, adamantine... It's, it's, like a, it's like a quick fix, really. Uh, quick, how? Well, the 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 mark kind of kind of makes shit happen. Yep. Uh, yep. Like kind of sporadic telekinesis. Yep. Um... Wasps. Yep. Almost and like one other thing that uh, almost like it's tied to the, the rocks there, the, the pieces of the iron glacier. I kind of took some with me. Uh, it helps. Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's, it's all covered. It doesn't. It doesn't seem covered. It's not. In fact, it's very much not covered. Why are you <laughs> taking such an interest? How do you know? Mark from, from the back. <laughs> well, you're not telling me about it. I mean, you use so many wasps. You want to leave it? You want to come to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, I'll chat about it. Uh, not yet. <laughs> We're gonna let it fester another minute. <laughs> gonna air it out. <laughs> I don't know that I can talk to Hunt and have it talk to him. No, I think it's just. I don't know how talk to Hunt works. It doesn't say in the book. And Hunt isn't considered considered a spirit. Like if I looked through my. Dream catcher. I wouldn't be able to see it. Not this thing, because it's kind of... Yeah, I know. Bullshit. That's what I was saying. Um, Silver. What, yes, Doctor? What other things is it that summon other than uh, giant wasps? Well, once it summoned uh, <laughs> hellhounds. Oh. Uh, lions. Are they all allied with you? 
Yeah, they don't attack me. They kind of just stand there. Gosh. Well, that's not too bad. And, uh... Giant ants? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot more. And Silver? It gets worse as, as we go on, really. What do you know of your family? Uh... Porta Nova, probably some kobolds in a mine, uh, and then I escaped the mine, maybe. Really fuzzy back then, really. Then, uh, then I got, got captured by a dwarf man who had slave kobolds. I learned how to craft from him. Then I got too good and kicked me out. That's my whole history. All of it. Mm -hmm. That's all of it. Yep. Unadulterated. Pretty, pretty, pretty modest, really, other than the mark. It's kind of weird, but, you know, I've tried to figure out what it is. This is a meta thing. Uh, nobody else except for Zach knows the, uh, the secrets. No, I know. Yeah. No. Did you have, like, the thing that... I, I know Griff mentioned something about him being, like, uh... Wait, wait, what, you, what were you... You mean in-game nobody knows? Yes. Yes. Actually, Silver would know a little bit. The Rift, way back in Hafton... Uh, I saw a vision of your you surrounded by clocks and mm. some weird shadowy apparition helping me. Yep. But I didn't really gain any insight from that, really. Yep, your hunt's a real douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> if he's making you poop wasps, that's yeah. probably a problem. Yeah, he's a giant asshole. Are we going to believe this guy? Well, he knows more about this sort of stuff than I do. Certainly not the more than I do. I just I just rolled a nearly god level amount of intelligence <laughs> on whatever this is, and I started, Listen, I've done the same thing too. Alice, times. you kind of know what's going on. What do you mean? Right? No. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. I know a lot about you. What do you know about me? Nothing. Listen, you're kind of like wait a, a second. <laughs> for me. Is this that dragon shit? What dragon shit? Were you talking with the dragon? I was only in there for like five minutes. So you know that. I know you do time shit. I didn't do time shit. You do time shit all the time. The dragon did the time shit. All the time you do time shit. You're terrible. What do you mean? <laughs> what did the dragon tell you? Lots of stuff. Like what? Like, like... An apple a day keeps Dr. Pocampus away. That's not true. I've been eating it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't shoved his finger up your butt, has he? Well, that's more... Mm, you don't know that. What do you do? Mm. <laughs> Go both ways? <laughs> We're not about to get into the ethics of if paladins handle gay people. They're probably gay. Excuse me? Depends on the kind of paladin, <laughs> probably. It's not gay to make sure your prostate's okay for every day over the past two years. <laughs> That's a sexual thing, you freak. <laughs> I didn't come. Much. Whoa. Are you telling me I have prostate cancer? <laughs> I thought you were That's what all this is. <laughs> you get it? You guys are all just trying to beat around the bush here. <laughs> I think your prostate has moved to your hand. That's not where it belongs. <laughs> huh. I mean, we were thinking that your prostate was prehensile, but I don't know how true that one is. Um, I don't it's know. It's all covered, guys. I got the gauntlet. I got another gauntlet. What's covered? His insurance. No, the whole... The guy got... <laughs> I have great health insurance. <laughs> Tell him, doctor, I have the best insurance. I guarantee you, Lisa. He's not even a doctor anymore. He's an alchemist. Well, you know. a doctor. You can doubt. I saw my PhD. I pulled it out. How Your PhDs days? mean nothing. Well, I have a PhD on the streets. <laughs> Pretty huge disappointment. Oh. Um, well, you see, we'll just have to remove the mark at some point. I'm it's gonna not going to be that easy. You see, five. come into the bathroom with me. Um, yeah, I choose to go. I don't, I don't want to go near you. You have a knife. <laughs> you said you wanted it removed. All right, we're in the bathroom now. <laughs> Atlas should probably come too. Can I join in no. the bathroom? <laughs> Atlas? <laughs> Atlas, the doctor will see you now. I don't need to go. <laughs> huh? Okay. There's, there's wasps in here. We need your help. There's no wasps in here. There. Atlas is so old, he probably has to go all the time. <laughs> He's not that old. He's pretty old. Why should you get? <laughs> I don't think you just get to sneak in and we get to check. I Spanish. Okay, the door opens up <laughs> and nothing happens. Victus or Volley. Oh, actually, if you, cast van if you cast Vanish, I see you. Would yeah, see you me. see me. Victus. 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 
If I open the door like this, would you just walk into my face? I mean, it's not like I just walk it open. <laughs> no, because he can move at full speed while prone with his pink socks. Yeah. So he would scuttle between your legs. Like a That's crab. a small space. space. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had to like slip and slide. Yeah. So does that mean that while Havoc is doing his diplomacy, Dr. Hippocampus and Morgrim are just like sitting in this huge, giant, massive room with the rest of the group just in the bathroom. <laughs> We're like, hey, we don't talk much. <laughs> How you feeling? You need a checkup? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> right. That's why we don't talk much. Okay. Victus, get out of here. What? I'm, I'll, you're next. I'm a rug. You're next. I'm a rug. You're next. Nope. I will get to you next. I'm a rug. Do you want to know what the dragon said about you? I'm rug. The rug begins moving out of the room. <laughs> All right, so, so I close the door and I make shackles and I lock the door. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going to tell him. But... Wait on me. He's eavesdropping. <laughs> Come to the back of the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, and that goes in here. He's sneaky. <laughs> we know he's gonna try some shit. I learned a lot. Wait. I, I talked to him. I talked to his ghost. Mm -hmm. His ghost is someone you know very well. It's hot. Daddy? I wish it was that. It would make this much easier. <laughs> what do you mean, easier? It's... It is someone's daddy. <laughs> you. No, I'm... The one and only Atlas Blue. No, no, I'm no, right no. here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. There's, there's two now. You see, when you fuck up time stuff... Like you did. Once. Once. Causing the rifts. Causing? Pretty sure. What? You caused the rifts? You at least caused the lurch. You caused the lurch! <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't intentional. It was entirely intentional. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> That's a better question. Papa. I'm his dad? <laughs> what? Yep. You're my dad. There's no way. He's a fucking imp. Yeah. You fucked the dragon when he was disguised. I thought that smelled funny. <laughs> That would also explain the barbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, this is bullshit! So <laughs> fuck with me. Is the reason that he's a kobold and not a half dragon because the dragon that gave birth to him was male? I don't know. I don't know if the dragon was male I think or the not. Dragon was, female. was it? Mm. Oh, shape changing. I don't know. Yeah, so She's Atlas, like, to, to summarize, springing from I mean, you need a smaller egg thing. if you're going to shoot it out your dick. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so Atlas was all boo-hoo about, boo about his mom dying. Okay? Come on. Boo-hoo. I saw you, okay? It was sad. You were very sad. You killed your dad, kind of, not really. But still, your dad's alive. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't believe this guy. I don't believe him. I don't believe him either. Right, you don't have to believe me. I'm a kobold. I grew up in Poronova. And you're some magical has-been. That's all we are. Has-been. <laughs> uh, no, he was pretty important in the wizarding industry. And he caused a lurch. That's kind of impressive. Did you sink your own house? Yes. Under you stupid <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he also caused a time ripple, which made part of his essence go into time, and is now haunting you. Wait, what? Wait, I don't know. It's you're it... haunting me. No, 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 not him. The other him. There's two of him. Yeah. Which one's my dad? Both of them. What? Well, technically the this one. I don't know about the other one. The other one might not be, or might be. No, I think that no, that happened before. Yeah, so before the giant. Yeah, because you split, and then you, you this part of him went off and adventured and fucked the dragon. So that part is like young Boohoo Atlas, who's been through time. This part is the old withered Atlas, who has also been through time, but in a different manner. <laughs> you gave me my mark, you son of a bitch! I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to strangle him. Okay. <laughs> You're small. <laughs> Although he's old. And <laughs> An eight. Too old. That's. that's <laughs> What's your CMD? No, it's your CMB. You gotta add your CMB to that. Oh. I forgot. I actually have a CMB. Plus nine. You have a higher CMB than me. Do I actually have a plus nine? Oh no, I've actually got a plus nine. Actually, no, I have a plus ten now because that's my base attack bonus. Oh, no, wait, no. It's... What did I learn from the Alice Ghost? I don't remember. 18! Do you want me to pull up my notes? Mine's higher than that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I 
I just hit you firmly <laughs> on the chest. <laughs> they both flail against each other. <laughs> it's it don't gotta be like that, man. Ah! I put the light in your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that was a light. Well, what happens now? You're you're responsible for for this. He's responsible and for, for the bees. <laughs> That, fun, that freaked me out the first time. You guys are all having adventures. Put me on a fucking sled. <laughs> but try, having, try having hellhounds come out of your fucking hand. <laughs> I can't solve your problems. What do I look like? Havoc's mother? What? What? We're having a lot of revelations. About I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have Dr. Phil over here. Trying the, to... the seven questions and then they're numbered one through seven. Please continue. This is great. This is gold. It means I have to do nothing. <laughs> you know what? No, everyone should be in here. Let's see here this. I open the door. I open no, the door. no, no, no. <laughs> what? It's, it's locked. What? I don't, I don't know what's it's happening. shackled to close. I don't know Is it a locky one on the inside door? Yeah. I just pound on it. Help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're torturing me! What's the door made out of? You tell you me. You tell us. <laughs> You're yeah, the dungeon master, Jesus Christ. Okay, whether it's oh, yeah. whether it's wood or um, uh, stone, Morgrim sh- shifts it as soon as you say they're torturing me. Wait, what does it, it turn into? Uh, it, it moves to the side. So, like, there's just this hole now, and we're, like, staring at it, you guys. Because she's got both wood shape and stone shape. Yeah, so... You see Victus wood. right next to the door. They're telling me, get this... Don't look at me, I'm not in the room. <laughs> He's the only one out there. I'm, I'm signing a treaty. I'm, <laughs> oh, they're telling me. Could you read it? Alice yeah. is my father. I don't believe it. There's no way that that's possible. That seems highly unlikely. I certainly unlikely. didn't hear that before. Did you hear that before? Uh, the door. Oh, just now? Let's what? See. <laughs> Let's see. Dr. Hippocampus, I don't think, knows this, but he does know Atlas was split in half. Does he? Oh, yeah, because yeah, you were I, there. I saw right? the vision. Oh yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> we all saw that. Atlas, uh-huh. have you paid your alimony for twenty something years, years or whatever? <laughs> yeah, paid it, paid, it, paid it to who? <laughs> Me or the dragon? Or the dragon? Which, is that dragon still around? <laughs> Which dragon? Yeah, we had a long conversation with him. What? Where? What? 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 It's back at the dwarf. Yeah, Grimswald in the city. Mm. Do you remember that? He was he was smithing. The whole time we were there. You missed your mom. Yeah. Oh yeah. You we'll be going back. Yeah we'll, be yeah, going back. we'll be going back. And you can give her a lolly. Oh wait, Atlas, didn't you mention something about having a pinwheel? Oh yeah. I got one. Two actually. This is for you. <laughs> what is that? It's a pinwheel. Thanks. <laughs> That's from your mom. Here you go. That's from that. That's from your dad. That's also a pinwheel. <laughs> Why? What's the symbology of this? It disarms you. <laughs> I throw it into the toilet and the telekinesis is <laughs> Bullshit. Gone. A dragon wanted you to have that. A big well, one. Uh, great. A big old gold dragon. Big old gold? Yep. Mm-hmm. Not silver? No. That doesn't make any sense. No, you know what? It's starting to put together now. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas is sitting here with like silvery hair and silver eyes. I don't get where the silver comes from. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Gold and silver doesn't make silver. It would make like a weird... It'd make an alloy. It'd make electrum. Yeah. Really? Is that so that just proves everything you said. <laughs> Thanks, person out of the room. <laughs> well, you should talk with your haunt. I don't know how. Dude, you ask me things like I know what I'm doing. I, can teach you. I don't know what I'm doing. Even when I'm smithing, I've been lying this whole time. I don't know what the hell goes on. I go unconscious for like 30 seconds. I could probably talk to the haunt and then give him, or Morgan can give him the, the thing to view it. Maybe. Would that work? We could try. I would need a power source of some kind. Why? Flavor. I could just talk to the haunt and then... Well, I'm, I'm just like, so that maybe he could just get like all of it, like the, the viewing and the speaking. I can just but we're just like the conduits. Could you listen through the... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's catcher. just say that he can listen through the, the dream catcher. <laughs> I'm making it happen. 
Because I want to make, I want to see this go through. Am I using a dream catcher like a telephone? So, it's a, <laughs> so uh, Morgan will. <laughs> Mom. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> Dad, just stop. Oh. Put that on the phone. <laughs> Sure, I'll summon the hunt to awareness, and then he can talk to him. Great, you get seven questions. <laughs> seven questions to your hunt, mm -hmm. which is my dad, which, which is, is also him, ish, which is also ish. not him. It's not him. There's two. There's two Atlas Blues. He's been lying to us this whole time. Although he may not have known, he probably knows. Well, I know now. You know now. Just like your dad. Your was, dad's out there. I don't know about that. Your dad's dispersed. He told me. Who told you? You. <laughs> All right. Well, my first question. No, I didn't. Is, yes, you did. Is he my dad? Try that one on. Technically. Hot. I don't know if he knows. I don't think he would know. That one wouldn't know. I no, know in this case, he does know. He one does for know? silver. Yeah. Because of time. Not just because of time, because... Who's going to answer that, though? Is that... Split Atlas was answer? following Atlas around until he started following. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, uh, excellent question. So, some of these questions I know I can answer just because obviously I was there. We keep on putting Morgan in the fucking driver's seat for huge loaded fucking plot stuff. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no, it, it shows that you guys got trust in me. I, I appreciate that because... Put the NAS on silver. I dropped mark. the ball on poor Havoc. This <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> it was all you. Well, I haven't done anything. You did the dad thing. Okay, so li listening through... I suggested a... <laughs> Camera back on me. All right, so listening through this uh, dream catcher that you're holding up to your ear, very much like a, uh, a phone, um, with, with Griff shooting Speak at Haunt onto you. you accept the collect call from... <laughs> <laughs> My provider is Griff. <laughs> yeah, this Atlas Blue is... This is a young voice. This is a voice that has not aged is not tainted with... Uh, oh, you guys don't like that word. You, no, no, I love that word. love that word. <laughs> but don't use it. Everyone say it. So it's... it's taint a, the front um, and it taint the back. So it's a college equivalent voice. So how old... Like you were... That was 100 years ago. So 100 years ago. 70. So you can hear a difference in his voice. That was 70. That, that um, the, the haunt replies... No. He said, not, not the dad? The, the, my question, yeah, so... No. Ha! Says he's not my dad! Because you split off before you left. Yeah, well... You should need to ask the person who's your dad. If he's your dad. You don't know, you don't know my father. I never had sex with a giant. Yeah. I mean, a dragon. Alright, well, I did have sex with a giant. Who's I did a, have sex with a giant. Who was a dragon? How do you know that? Because a dragon told me. Which dragon? The vault dragon? Hold on! Dad, I need, to admit, I, need to, I need to do something real quick. I'm going to figure out this is a truly speak to haunt spell. Okay. This, this is, I mean, okay. All right. That's I got, fine. I got 23. It is truly speak to haunt. We're, we're just... What level spell is speak to haunt? <laughs> it's not that big. Five? It's like... Four. Okay. Yeah. That's, you got it. All right. All right. This is, I, I discern that this is, this is, this is what's happening. M Morgan would not lead you astray. All right. All right. Well, then... uh. Where, 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 how did I get my mark? What's up with the mark? Oh, excellent. I get this. Fun. Watch him try to get this one. <laughs> how, oh, I have to keep recording this. How got mark? All right. If you want to know how you got your mark, plus two. Plus two. two. <laughs> <laughs> if you're calling That's about the four. sacred marks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Welcome to Horse Facts. <laughs> no! <laughs> you were born with it. You're going to have to ask for an explanation. Oh, I mean, I, I can believe that. That's kind of, kind of what I figured. <laughs> All right, well. Hmm. How many questions I got? Seven. Seven. You're, you, I wasn't seven prepared seven. for this. <laughs> How many <laughs> questions do I have? <laughs> you got, you got four more. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm writing that down. <laughs> um. <laughs> what would be? No, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> What would be a good question to ask? <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Is my mom a dragon? You're cold. Well, they're telling me my mom's a dragon. I know. I don't believe it either. Sometimes. The f 
What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> dragons get turned That's another question. Yeah. <laughs> like, dragons can turn into. You're burning the, 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 yeah. There's the question. I know, I'm waiting. Uh, she can change her form. I guess that explains how you might have fucked a dragon. It, it might explain that. Can you? You can't hear it, can you? Oh. I thought this was kind of like a megaphone. Yeah. Oh. We can make it a megaphone. It was yeah, just like it's a up really to you. So if we can all hear it. <laughs> speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on speaker. He moves some hey, of the beads. Are you still there? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love how colloquialisms are questions. Yes. <laughs> I think you got one more left. Right, one one more. Question. This is your last and final question to me. You've barely learned anything. Uh, how do I get rid of the mark? Uh, that's, okay. that's a good one. It's going to be super vague and unhelpful. Of course. Because I gotta come up with something. Yeah, it could just be, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it is Atlas. <laughs> oh, I got it. You need the heart of a creature that eats riffs. <coughs> Ma! It's weird that she said Ma! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm just so excited when I pull something up. Let me have it. Well, this is my third DM <laughs> ever. We're gonna have to kill a city. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I guess. So I wasn't there for the, that stuff, but I'm guessing I overheard it since I'm pretty sure you guys would, would talked about it. What? The city thing. Oh, yeah. You, you, you just us. watched the presentation on it. Yeah. That's true, yes. <laughs> well. All right. All right, so guys, with the final question, it is 5.01. We are going to take a dinner break. Dinner. Uh, join us again for our next session on the Odyssey campaign. Yay. Yay.